My name's Owen, and I'm the Dungeon Master of our Return of the Giants 5th Edition Homebrew Campaign. Hi, I'm Ali. I'm playing Lyra, the Eldoran Spore Druid, and she is just a little bit obsessed with mushrooms. Hi, my name's Simon. I'm playing the character of Ember. I'm a wildfire druid who's on a quest to be the very best there ever was. Hi, I'm Dave, and I play Harry Harrington, the Harringon, the roguish merchant with the heart of gold. My name is Christian. I'm playing Bartholomew, the romantic dancing owl and paladin of devotion. Hi, my name is Matt, and I'll be playing Niall Silverwind, the owl and way of the sympathy of Hey guys, I'm Jared. I play the character of Thrain, the boisterous frost giant, the Goliath, half of the giant barbecue. Hello there, lovely listener. This is just a warning to let you know that this episode of Return of the Giants may contain adult language or adult themes. Hello! Hello! Hello. Greetings, one and all. Hello, hello, and welcome back to the Lost Archives. We are playing Return of the Giants tonight, our premier homebrew 5th edition adventure. We are excited. We left off last session in the midst of some rather tense combat, and I don't want to keep us away from that for too long. Um, really quick announcements. Simon is unable to join us tonight, unfortunately. Uh, I will play the character of Ember until he uh, rejoins us, hopefully next week. Um, we will be uh, doing some extra things with some guests as well, heading forwards with Return of the Giants. So uh, I'll keep you posted about news on that as well. Um, because we'll have, a, we'll have a few players over the next couple of weeks who might need to, to jump in and jump out a little bit. Um, so I'll, uh, I'll I'll reach out and we'll get a bit of an understanding of what that looks like. And I'll have some guests come in and join you as well, which is often often lots of fun to have the guests come in for like one or two sessions, then kind of be like on the outskirts, popping in and out. I mean, some of some of the some of the funnest characters we've had uh, in uh, Tyranny of Dragons campaign were were guests. Like you guys probably remember how great Akani was, how much fun Akani was. Shivers, one of my yeah. favorite pieces of character art I've ever done. Shivers, Shivers. the um, Sphinx Tabaxi. Yeah, um, Shivers was awesome. Great a session or two, so like, is that canonical that I'm not a guest? Ah, uh, you're still a guest, just a long time uh, guest. <laughs> <laughs> well, technically, <laughs> you, t- technically, Yerveth was a guest in. Uh, technically, yeah. everyone here. Technically, was a guest so was Lyra. <laughs> well, there you go. We were all a guest at one point. By the time Dave, was, uh, Dave did start with this campaign, so he's technically been. Wait, did, yeah, Dave was being here. No, no, I was a guest. Dave was a guest. Yeah, Dave, you guys were a guest. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> uh, so Dave and Dave and Simon were maternity leave positions. Obviously, uh, when uh, Claire and Michael went off yes. to go have their baby, we had two map Correct. positions open up. So, uh, so Harry and Ember are basically like yeah, maternity filled positions, <laughs> um, which I find quite funny. Uh, it's, it's uh, really I think funny. It's, I think is brilliant. Uh, the only other fun announcement I have to share for everybody is. Um, by the time you watch this, uh, we will have already had and uh, and finished our episode zero of Avatar Legends, uh, our brand new campaign. It will have already gone live on Twitch, but the good news is it'll be coming out on YouTube in a day or two. So keep your eyes peeled. Be right there. We're going to be doing our Legacy of Kyoshi campaign, which is obviously set during the time of Kyoshi, right after the end of the uh, Shadow of Kyoshi book, uh, Rise of Kyoshi and Shadow of Kyoshi. So. Stay tuned. I'll be posting some cool stuff on the YouTube uh, community page for that, and we're going to be jumping into that very, very soon. So very excited. Uh, he can join us live. Uh, it'll be on Thursday nights at 7 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. Obviously, uh, Daylight Savings ends uh, in like four days. So we're all back on the same timeline after that. It'll be 7 p.m. for everything. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So we're all, all back on the same timeline, which means we get rid of that half hour split and we're all back at 7 p.m. for everything, which would be great. Lots of fun. That's the only fun announcement I have to share. Um, alrighty. Now, we are going to jump in and do our recap, make sure we're all ready and raring to go. I've written a, a pretty solid recap to get us all up and running, so let me quickly pull that open, and I will jump in with where we last left off. So. Two seconds, sorry, while I try and find this. There it is. Okay. Previously. The Tempest Adventuring Guild, a name now legendary across the lands of Nostea, has formed a brand new team. Lyra, Niles, Harry, Ember, Thrain, and newcomer Bartholomew are exploring the vast caverns of the Underdark. Drawn below by rumours of stone giants taking over territory, it has come to light that the Duragar are providing the stone giants with slaves as part of a massive mining operation. 
With the Underdark so full of danger, the team sought refuge amongst a Mykonid colony in the depths of a large mushroom forest, in return eliminating a tribe of Kuatoa who had been harassing the colony. While there, the team met with a renegade Lothsworn drow called Zaylan, who enlisted the help of the group in throwing off some assassins still on her tail. The team split in two, Harry and Zaylan making their way toward the surface, while the rest travelled with the Deep Gnome guides toward the city stronghold of Blindenstone. Both parties were ambushed by the assassins, but while the larger group were able to fend off the attacks, even killing two of their pursuers, Harry was taken prisoner after being knocked out by drow poison. Luckily for Harry, the rest of the group discovered his plight while attempting to use a sending stone to throw off the drow assassins, successfully convincing them to meet with Harry on the way to the old wizard tower the Society of Brilliance used as a base in the Underdark. On their way to the meetup point, the team made a brief detour via Blindenstone, learning a massive draconic monstrosity called a Bahia had taken up residence, the city now completely abandoned. During his captivity, Harry decided to use his charm and wit to try to win over some of the assassins, and he was able to build up some rapport with two in particular. However, he soon found himself bound and gagged, tied to a post, and left out in the open as bait for the rest of the party. With the sounds of slithering coming from either side of the canyon walls, Harry decided to try and appeal to his patron for help, a call which was answered by a sudden powerful eldritch blast from his hands, destroying the ropes binding him. Even more luckily for Harry, the rest of the team had just arrived, Thrain and Bart rushing down into the canyon to try and get to him, while Ember, Lyra and Niles took to higher ground. Emerging from the walls of the canyons, large worm-like insects rushed toward the party with a horrifying chittering noise, but at the last second suddenly halted, a high-pitched whistle sounding from above. Emerging from the darkness, the drow shadow blade and chitin armor appeared on the upper level of the canyon, calling out to the team, offering a single chance to save their lives. Reveal the location of Zaylan. Knowing they didn't really want to share this information, the team tried to delay and negotiate. However, when they accidentally let slip Zaylan wasn't with them and had instead escaped to the surface, the shadow blade elite whistled the Grix to attack. Niles leapt into action, launching a sudden strike on the Shadow Blade Elite. However, she quickly turned the tables against him, causing Niles and Thrain, sorry, causing uh, um, Bartholomew and Thrain to rush in to save him. Meanwhile, Harry, Ember, and Lyra launched a series of strikes against the Grick and the other Shadow Blade assassins. We left off last session as Niles unleashed an Earth Elemental in a bid to save himself. Thrain advanced on a Shadow Blade Mage menacingly. Ember spread some fire through some webs. Lyra rushed forward to heal Niles, Harry hid in an advantageous position, and Bart faced off alone against one of the assassins. That is where we left off last session. We are going to jump straight back in to the action. I'll bring us across to the map once again. For podcast listeners, a quick visual refresh for you. A large canyon sits, almost recessed out of the earth, roughly 80 feet deep. At the bottom of the canyon, sections of stone and earth create these little pillars towards the sides and water fills up a small pool over towards the right. The party have all now descended into the canyon. The only person up on the ridge is Bartholomew facing off against one of the drow shadow blades. On one of the large pillars in the very center, an enormous earth elemental currently beats the shadow blade elite uh, into the ground with its enormous rocky fists while a giant eagle Lyra summoned to try and save Niles um, attempts to peck out its eyes. Harry is currently hiding in the undergrowth just around the base of this pillar. Thrain is advancing up the side of the slot canyon, chasing down a drow mage, um, calling out to him, I'm going to cut you apart, little one, with his axe. No, no, it's, I'm coming for you, little one. Let me do the same thing I did to the other. That's it, you exactly. You'll join him soon in the afterlife, oh, little one. No. Come out. It's terrible. That's it. And uh, Lyra, Ember, and Niles are currently all grouped up at the edge of the canyon, uh, just out of range of the web spell that had been activated by the Drow Mage. Uh, at the moment, Niles is um, Niles is pretty hurt. Uh, <laughs> Not, Niles is fine. He is fine. He's okay, good that's good to know. Oh, yeah, Niles is fine then. Okay, cool. Um, if, if Niles is fine. At the top of the round, as we jump straight back in, there is one thing I need to do before we start, and that is advancing the web. At the beginning of the round, the web grows in size. Uh, the fire, sorry, grows, uh, burns across the web another five feet. Perfect. 
Uh, Ember had previously already rolled for that Grick's damage, so there's no extra damage on the Grick yet because it's still within the range of the fire, uh, but the web is currently burning away. And we are going to jump up to the top of the round. First off in our initiative order is Niles. Mm. Fuck. All right. Cool. Um, <laughs> kind of sums it up a bit, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, Niles doesn't really like how things are going down at the moment. Um, oh, fuck. Um, yeah. He is going to probably reach into the bag of holding and will he will use a he will uncork a potion of healing um from the bag of holding which he has so i'm going to do that real quick fantastic um seven hit points it's better than better than nothing now i do have a uh, i do have a quick announcement Rune Brassax on Twitch has just redeemed create an achievement. So the way that create Ooh. an achievement works is that if you are able to fulfill the terms of the achievement, there is a juicy reward. Ooh. The achievement is convince a drow shadow blade to give up peacefully and to part with some useful information. Ooh, that is Rune Brass. You uh, you just read my mind because that is something Niles has been considering uh, all week actually. Um, <laughs> so the the difficulty I of the know achievement that's essentially is... like almost like I'll let other people oh. try that, but there is no way in health frames going to be. There is to there is one other thing that Niles can try, but it might be a detriment to the party. So he is going to actually put himself in a position where he is close to the Shadow Blade Elite. Um, he's going to go right up next to her there, which may be risky. It probably is risky. Um. Yeah, he's gonna go here. What's Alrighty. life without a bit of risk? Yeah, what's what's life without a bit of for, risk? For podcast listeners, Niles takes to the air after downing <laughs> a healing potion, flaps his wings rapidly, flying up the large section of necrotic tissue across your chest and uh, part of your torso, Niles, not slowing you down as much with the adrenaline of battle kind of raging through your veins. As you fly up, nimbly dodging behind the wings of the giant eagle, you fly in place next to the earth elemental which is currently smashing the shadow blade elite into the top of this pillar yeah um if, if niles is going to raise a hand up as if to signify for the earth elemental to just just halt the attack yep and he will say it doesn't have to end this way. Is this really the destiny you thought you sought out to, to fall here unfulfilled? Is this really what you think is best for your house, for your clan? There's another way. If you lay um, down your arms, we can talk. Could I get you to make me a persuasion check with disadvantage? Sorry, That's Niles. fine. That's okay. Oh, okay. Sorry. Luck. Oh god. Oh. <laughs> is is uh, persuasion and performance the same for you? Because you did roll performance. Oh, did I? I thought I wore persuasion. That's okay. Do it, it, you get, do you get uh, any pluses to persuasion? Again, right, Owen. Oh, pers yeah. persuasion is a plus three, actually. Okay, so that's a five and a. Uh, sorry, no. Yeah, five and a 14. Yeah, that's what we got enough, though. Niles. You watch as she pauses for a second, the hand on her blade. And as she looks at you, you see Venom suddenly take over her face, this look of thunderous rage. You dare insult my house. Look down upon us. We will finish you off, you filthy vermin. I did not I did not say such things. I your house is, is wise, is strong, but it could there is a chance. I feel like I need to quote Saruman here. Save your pity and your mercy. I have no use for it. We told you that Zaylin was heading to the surface. We know where. Perhaps we can talk about this diplomatically. Solve your grievances. Perhaps it doesn't have to end this way. Niles, it's hard 
to know for sure, but you don't think right now you're don't think right now you've made as much headway as is needed to to, to prevent her attacking right, next turn. There's, there's, there's two other shadow blades yeah. that you can finesse. Um, bonus action, I will just hit my chest and I'm going to use one of my key points to give myself an immune, uh, a, a resistance to necrotic damage. <laughs> Absolutely. So this is the, I think it's synchronize ability, isn't it? It is, yeah. Synchronize. So this is uh, one of the Way of Sympathy Monk's special abilities. As sure you spend is. the key point, you may align your key to gain resistance to an enemy's damage type, one damage type from an enemy. You are going to pick necrotic damage. That is a very I good sure call. Am. That is a very good call. What what do you what do you want to say that kind of looks like for Niles? Because this is the first time I think you've used this ability. Um, I guess Niles just like closes his eyes, um, and just sort of like tries to recenter himself, like spiritually. Um, he probably forms a very specific like pattern with his hands, and then just kind of like breathes in a little bit, and then just focuses his aura to just repelling and protecting against that damage. He feels that feeling in his chest, those cuts across his body, and he just tries to like, just, I guess not overcome it, but like just become one with it and it sort of just let it be. Um, because I guess in a way he's channeling almost that like, uh, that sutra of like all is nothing and nothing is all. Um, so yeah, he's just trying to will it out of his mind and out of his body. Uh, I love yeah. it. I love it. That's fantastic. Anything else on your turn, Niles? That's all Matt Niles is going to do at this point. Little Easter Bunny, Harry himself. Um, <laughs> can I tell which one's Zerom? Uh, the yeah. That was like... Could I get you to roll me a quick perception check, Harry, from the little hidey hole? Twenty-three. Twenty-three. Harry, on the rise up towards your right, um, standing over the pool of water, uh, not too far away from this larger pillar, you can see Zero. Yeah. Um, I'm not going to give my way my position. Um, what do I need to do to get up behind the Shadow Blade Elite? Uh, scamper. She's still on the ground, right? <coughs> yeah, so, she, so she's prone on top of this large pillar. Um, scamper yep. up the side of the pillar, which is roughly sort of 25, 30 feet up. Um, scamper up there, and you're good to go. Okay, that's my movement. Could I please get um, a jump? And you have good jumping as a Haragon? Yeah, yeah, I can jump 15 feet as a as a bonus action. Could I get you to make me an acrobatics check as well, just to see? I just want to get an idea of the the level of uh, of dexterity employed here. Uh, 14. 14. Uh, combined with your jump, that's not a problem for you. As you oh. nimbly bounce from side to side before emerging on top of the uh, the pillar right next to the Shadow Blade Elite, you can see she is currently lying prone on top of the pillar. Awesome. So that's my bonus action to do the jump. Um, I will then go stabby stabby because she's prone still, right? That's advantage. You get advantage indeed. She is prone. Oh, come on. I haven't hit this lady once. Um... Blade. I reckon we're going to see some pretty brutal hits right now. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> um, I'll roll again for the hits. So that's an 18 and 25. Uh, yeah, 25 definitely 25. hits. Um, can I just um, ask, Harry, are you, are, you, are you aiming to kill at this point? Um, no, I mean, it, Harry, Harry generally doesn't aim to kill. He's generally uh, aiming to down, but, um, but I like, mean, I don't know. <laughs> <It's pretty laughs> bloodthirsty in the past. I think it's just worth mentioning because my friends were in danger. Come on. He has um, a heart of gold. <laughs> he does, yeah, it's not, but it's yes, not his heart. He ripped it out of someone else. <laughs> Let's not forget yeah. that. He has a heart of gold somewhere in his backpack. Yeah. Um, in his inventory. I mean, like, <laughs> Harry knows Niles is pretty hurt. He's he got beaten pretty bad by her, and he doesn't want to leave much to chance in terms of when you get up. So. Um, but yeah, I mean, she's down. She's unarmed, and she—oh, I mean, no, she's not unarmed, but she's like literally down and like not doing anything. So he's not going to like go in for the eyeball into the brain or anything. Yeah. yeah. So, um, so we always take the first damage. So that's eight piercing damage and five thunder damage, and if she moves. She's going to take a further 12. Okay, and which one's my sneak attack damage? That's very good. Uh, I don't think it's added sneak attack damage that has it. Oh, yeah, it has it at the end, 2d6. That's yeah. the four is the yeah. end for the sneak attack. Yeah, I'll add that so, right now as well. So, yeah, 13, so 17 yeah, six damage. Six, 
an additional six she moves, and then the seven from the sneak. 17 yeah, damage total. There was a total. lot of modifiers there, so there is a lot of text. <laughs> There's a lot yes. going on. <laughs> It'll happen every time I hit her. Yeah, no, that was uh, that was great. There was there was a lot of a lot of extra. Oh wait, no, numbers. I was reading the bottom one. Sorry, yeah, my bad. It was like, yeah, that's right. Yeah, so. Um, um, yeah. So do I have right, much please. movement left with um, climbing up and using my jump to do that? Uh, so it's about thirty feet up. So if you use your fifteen to jump, then scramble up with a fifteen, you've probably got sort of like ten to let's say like ten feet left. Yeah. Okay. Well, there's nowhere really to hide on the block, is there? Um, not can really, I no. put myself in, is there anywhere, any, anything or anything I can use for like cover against one of the, uh, the Shadow Blade's like arrows? Is there somewhere the, I can get into like a... The Earth Elemental is going to provide quite a bit of cover. Um, the Shadow Blade who's got the best kind of bead on you at the moment is Zeron. He's the one who's got the best view of you. Question okay. is whether or not um, you think Harry, he's going to take like, that shot. Harry's like, Harry's, uh, Zeron, Zeron Pearl, you, uh, you... You, you could, uh, you could just, like, we, we, we can, like, not, we don't have to hurt you if you want to, um, surrender and, um, you know, hang out with us. You, could you make right, me, you, you, could you, you make me, pretty, pretty nasty. <laughs> could you make me a persuasion check? I have removed the That's disadvantage, 19. uh, against my better Ooh. judgment. That's 19. Juicy. Oh, that's actually very good. Harry, as you look, you see Zeron looking towards you, kind of torn, and he slowly aims the crossbow away from you, instead aiming it towards Thrain. Okay. I mean, that's fair enough. I'm, there is some stuff going on. In there. <laughs> Everyone, this is Zeron. He, he's all right. He, he was like... He's a probably nice not the guy to Probably not the guy to shoot an arrow at right now, though, if I try to save him. As you as you say this, Harry, you look down and you see at your feet uh, the Shadow Blade Elite Assassin look up at you. Murder in her eyes. I should have disposed of you stupid rabbit earlier. You cannot appeal to this, the sense of, of justice in these these warriors. They work for me. They are justice for the Loth Swan Drow and for House, Mer House Merengon. You cannot uh, convince them otherwise. Way. Okay, great. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Fantastic. That's um, the end of Harry's turn, right? Action, bonus action. Yeah, that's all you got. Shadowblade Elite. Now, I've got a really interesting DM question. Does standing up using half your movement count as moving for Booming Blade? I would argue that it does because it is using your movement it's speed moving. and it is the process of moving. Ooh. I would argue that it does. That's, ooh, that's it, just, what is the booming blade test? Specifically, right? when the target moves. Oh. Well, yeah, because the idea would be, I, I'm imagining, um, they're sort of like pinned and surrounded with like thunderous Almost damage. Like a, yeah, like a net. And yeah. Yeah. Like, you know, to stand up. Like she could stay down right now and attack while lying down. It's her choice to stand up. Yeah. yeah Thing is, true. though, she does not want to be lying down in front of an earth elemental that's currently <laughs> leaning over her, checking to see if she's dead. <laughs> Like, yeah. it is specifically uh, it, checking. That's what people are saying on on the internet. They're standing up from pro and activate Booming Blade. Bo booming Blade only activates when a creature moves more than five feet. Even that's though it I takes half it. your movement, standing up from pro and doesn't count as moving and therefore doesn't activate Booming Blade's effect, apparently. Is that the official Is that official oh. ruling or just internet sleuths ruling? Sounds like internet sleuths it, ruling. It, well, it, probably have it to looks look like a, a bit more. fair bit of... There's a fair theory. Um, okay. In that case, then, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Harry. It, she will stand up using half her movement, but uh, oh, don't worry. Oh, this is addressed by Crawford, apparently. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. if, if Crawford... Uh, look, I'll always accept look. a Crawford ruling. You know my you know my position on Crawford. If Jeremy... What Jeremy <laughs> says, I agree with most uh, of the time. <laughs> okay. Standing up costs movement, but moves you nowhere. To move all prone, you crawl, you use magic. Yeah. Wait, that's... Standing uh, up costs movement, but moves you nowhere. Yeah, so he, I, I get what he's saying. So what he's saying essentially is that because you're not moving anywhere, not moving to a destination, mm -hmm. technically it wouldn't activate okay. Booming Blade. Fair enough. Okay, so, in that case then. Okay, yeah, cool. Well, yeah. it's good to know moving hello, forward now. Hello, Harry. Because, yeah. Quick question for future reference. Yeah. Um, if, if if one of us were to have had pushed her off the rock or thrown through her, does she take the damage in the future? Just for future reference. <laughs> <laughs> it's not her moving, but she is moving. So I would argue yes. I would argue that. Okay. Combo uh, in the future three. Just, just. <laughs> it's funny. Uh, that is funny. She uses half her movement to stand up. She glares at you, Harry, clearly torn between her hatred for you 
and her knowledge that she really can't stay here uh, on top of the rock near the Earth Elemental. Mary gives her a wink. <laughs> oh my god. Um, she is then going to use Shadow Step. I just need to double check how far she can go. I don't think she can get to where she wants to go. Or not quite. Okay. She's going to Shadow Step. You watch as she just drops into the shadow of the Earth Elemental, vanishing from sight and appearing at the uh, other side of the canyon. Harry? Would that count Is as that booming blade? blade? Oh, it's a good question. Oh, teleporting, um, no, I've done that with, because it grapples the same as well. Oh. Grapple, technically your movement is zero, but you... Yeah, yeah and Crawford also said something about magic and also, because it's like a force movement thing, it shouldn't really trigger the booming blade yet. In that case then, the booming blade is not triggered, Harry. Instead, as she focuses back towards you, seeing you, hating you, but knowing that the Earth Elemental is a much more terrifying target right now, she's going to make some attacks against that. Uh, she's going to make a yeah. She's going to make a, a, a she's going to make a hand crossbow attack. She's not going to use her sword. Alrighty, that is going to be a twenty-two, a nineteen, and a twenty-seven against the Earth Elemental. They are all going to hit. Uh, they're all hits. Are you, are you tracking the health of the? I'm tracking the health of the Earth Elemental. Very good. We should tell uh, the male drow to unionize, and then um, maybe that would be real. <laughs> 10 yeah. damage, 6 damage, and 9 damage. Um, now, Earth Elemental, immune to poison. I believe they are, actually. They, yeah, okay. they had immunity to poison, and they have yeah. resistances to piercing. Yeah, then that's... Um, Wait, that is piercing, half damage for piercing. Yeah, yeah, I've, I've half nice. damage for piercing. Just want to double check nice. the poison. Yeah, immune to poison, completely immune. So none of her poison does anything. As she fires off these crossbow bolts against the uh, the earth elemental, you watch as they dig into the stone, but really don't seem to do much to slow it down. Um, that is her turn. Lyra, you are up next. All right. So just a couple of quick questions. Um, I listened to the podcast, but I didn't get a chance to see the map at all, so I've got no idea who is who. Um, uh, the first one is, is, is one of the eagles still up? One of the eagles is still up. Both? That's currently yeah. currently here attacking her, basically. Oh, and all right. Yeah. Yeah, we, we didn't have a token yeah. for the eagle. So, we so used, I've used the uh, fear of token. The fear of token. Because yeah. that's what I had. <laughs> I got confused. The other eagle uh, and just as double... soon as it was summoned. <laughs> yeah. It tried to fly that's Niles out of there and got <laughs> cut down. <laughs> Rip eagle. Um, and so Swampy and Shalele is up at the moment. You've got Swampy and you've also got Shalele. Uh, no, sorry, you have you've got Swampy. Swampy and you used, um, uh, uh, what's the fire one? Uh, Green Flame Blade against the Drow. So currently oh, yeah. just Swampy's up. Uh, and has Swampy taken any um, damage at all? Swampy's actually not taken any damage. Every attack that has gone to hit you has actually missed. Sweet, 20 hit points, uh, 20 turn hit points. That's Swampy. Um, all right, and then one last one, which is between Bart and Brain. Who looks Do the most either hurt? of them look like they're having? Yeah, who's the most hurt? Who's having? Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm really, I'm pretty good. I, be, I haven't taken much damage. I am bloodied, but if it's a ranged healing, Niles definitely deserves it. All right. So in that case, I'm gonna shoot off a. Actually, second yeah, it's level probably healing. Niles that definitely needs it. <laughs> yeah, second level healing word at Niles. Yay! Thank you. Niles would definitely be appreciated for it. Um, some nine uh, hit points. Fuck yeah, thank you. And then she's gonna go shoot a um, chill touch at this shadow blade that's just so near by near Bart. With Bart, fantastic. That's Make me a ranged good. spell attack. Ooh. 25 to hit. That's gonna hit. That's gonna be nine necrotic damage. Nine necrotic. Um, and then, yeah, I'm assuming that Tim's still just attacking that. Um, Tim and the Grick are just having hero. a 1v1 at the moment. The Grick? Nice. Uh, should I roll for Tim? Yeah, that'd be great. All right, here. Oh, uh, okay. 14 to hit? Uh, 14 against the Grick. Uh, all right, let me just open the Grick again. I love how I go to open a tab and close it. My favorite. <laughs> uh, here we are. Uh, Rick AC. 14 hits. That is the AC. Uh, five piercing. Five piercing damage. Brilliant. I marked that off on the Grick. Nicely done, Tim. And the Eagle. Do you have the giant Eagle stats or do you want me to... Uh... Uh, let me quickly pull them off. 
as soon as it loads. It might be faster if you pull it. Oh, no, there yeah, it is. Yeah, that's a good... Oh, you got it? Uh, awesome. Maybe. Possibly. Just, uh... Ride the giant eagle. All right. Uh, the one I pulled up is not the right <laughs> creature. It doesn't have any of the attacks in it. That's okay. Um, so the giant eagle has two attacks, um, beak and claw. Uh, and it's essentially, if you if you want to roll d20s, I can tell you what the pluses are and see What's if you get What's its movement so, speed? It's not currently so, near anyone. I can, no, I so flying, can fly speed, flying speed's 80 feet, so it can move pretty quickly. Yeah, perfect. Um, it's got two attacks, um, one with the beak, one with the talons, plus five to hit on both. All right. Um, What's well, 13 to hit um, and... Uh, dealer's choice on an attack type. So, so it's good, but that's going to be 13 plus 5. You get, you get two attacks. It's got multi attacks, so you can roll again. You can oh, roll another right. It's got multi attack. Yeah. And I'm guessing uh, who who is the eagle attacking? Uh, the. Oh, where'd you go? Quite a few options. She's uh, shadow stepped. Yeah. Alright. Uh, can the eagle see from where she is? Yeah, yeah. The eagle can just swoop down. Hidden. Yeah, absolutely. She's not yeah. hidden. Yep, now just go back after the person that um, Eagle was attacking. So 13 plus 5 is 18. That is enough. Would you like to roll roll? me a... And then if you could roll me 1d6 the damage. Uh, No, that's not going to be enough. Uh, 14 is not enough. But if you can roll me 1d6 and we'll add 3 to it, that would be the piercing damage for the beak. Fantastic. Seven points of piercing damage as the eagle goes to peck out her eyes, as it was previously instructed last session. That was fun. Anything else on your turn, Lyra? Uh, Just a quick question. This yellow circle that's by Bart, is that a good circle or a bad circle? That's Bart's light, which is giving disadvantage to any creatures nearby who don't want to be blinded. uh, The channel did my sacred weapon. Staying where I am. Brilliant. Thrain, it is your turn. Uh, so the mage is now visible in front of me, yes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. As you started to climb up, he was cowering underneath. Uh, he Ooh. tried to do a spell to get rid of you. He failed. So now it is just you oh. and him alone there halfway you up the mountain. <laughs> we really to play our little game as I brandish my axe. First I mean, things first, I'm yeah. going to grapple them with my first attack. I'm going to... Yep. Grab them around the, around the midriff of my massive hand and just try and hold them in place. Okay. So, um, grapple again. That's just... Yeah, hey, grappling again. What is... What is so, again? grappling is an athletics uh, check, essentially. Okay. Um, I'm raging, so I get advantage on strength checks and saving throws. So... That's a 25 for the grappling check. He rolled a 16, so that's a fail for him. You just pick him up. You can see as, as he tries to scramble backwards, his hand kind of like knocking free loose stones, like causing him to trip and stumble over as you just reach out and pick you, him up. Are you trying to go, little one? You're not trying to run away so soon. We haven't even had our fun yet. Oh, dear. <laughs> I mean, you can convince someone to give you information and join your side for intimidation. He is, he is other <laughs> right? It doesn't have to be kind. That's fair. <laughs> well, I, I mean, it was know. convinced the Drow Shadow Blade to give up peacefully, so... Yeah, exactly. Through yeah. making yeah. his dance. Yeah, 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 sure. Yeah, yeah. Good point. Ugh. Would Thrain do that? <laughs> no, 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 not putting in pressure. I'm just saying <laughs> the, the possibilities. I think, I think he's been hinting at this for a long time with this yeah. mage. Oh yeah, you have. So I'm hundred percent going to use the rest of the attack, attack of my great axe. Twenty-one to hit Owen. Twenty-one hits. Sixteen slashing damage. Brutal. And I'm going to add a frost strike onto that to do an additional uh, four cold damage. Can he please do a constitution saving throw? Yes, <laughs> he like can. A... He also needs to make one for the web too, because you've just dealt damage. Web's a concentration spell. Oh, nice. I need to make two. Uh, okay, that is a 17 on the constant on the constitution saving throw, 13 That's on the tough. web. Uh, the web is down. That's cool. That's probably even better. Um, but yeah, so he does pass the frost strike, which sucks. So if he teleports, he can still run around and move. That's what I was sort of hoping for. If he does teleport out of the grapple, then the Frost Striker will have him in zero movement, but it is what it is. Alrighty, anything um, else in your turn, Thrain? Yeah, well, that's my two attacks. I'm grappling him, though, which is good, so he's not 
He's he's not running away. Um, I think anything else? No, I'm pretty good for now. Oh. Alrighty. Don't think about running away so soon at all. <laughs> <laughs> Just like almost like speechless because I think you got like a 24 or something on the intimidation check last 25. time. Yeah. 25. Oh, you know, the intimidation. Um, yeah, that like yeah, something like that. He, I'm he's so he's terrified of you. Um, yeah. Alrighty. Because I didn't kill him, I'm just going to say that I like just brought down the great axe across his back, leaving a large gash or something. Like I've like almost moved it around my hands to get an angle, and then I've come in with the great axe. I mean, you can use the flat of the great axe to just do like a more of a, like a bludgeon than a, than a slash as well. Okay, How? I might do that for now. I might just knock out the wind from him. He yeah. doesn't have any. Like, he's gasping for air, and that that or, might like, the, the wind. could use the pommel as well. Like that. Yeah. Um. How hurt are you looking, Niles? Uh, well, with the with the potion of healing and the healing word, I am almost half health. So almost I'm, I'm half back, health. I'm, I'm back. Okay. I'm back. I'm back. Okay, I'm so you're not looking. Back, yeah. <laughs> you're not I'm looking not too as, bad. It's not as dire as it was. Let's say that. Okay, I think in that case, then Ember might use. Oh, I think I think Ember's going to do a produce flame and then also follow up with a fiery seed onto the uh, the shadow blade that's uh, in range with you. But just yeah. knowing that these guys can hit pretty hard, he's going to try and make sure you're okay. Um, that is going to be a uh, seventeen to hit. That definitely hits. That's going to be ten points of fire damage to the shadow blade, and then flame seed. Let's quickly do that. Uh, no one needs teleporting out at the moment. Nah, I think everyone's looking everyone's looking pretty okay for the moment. So yeah, just do flame seed in that case. Um, ah, it's only going to be a seven. That's not going to hit. Um, um, but that's okay. Still what's produce Ember's flames. Good. Doing? Ember's what? Sorry. Orb. <clears throat> yeah, the, the the bright light hasn't hasn't been activated yet. Okay, because because a bright light would make it quite hard for the trout to aim, right? Because they... Creatures of the underground. Like underground, right? Well, we did yeah, establish yeah. that previously, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, you know, like, if you wanted to, you could shine the orb at Ember, the Shadow Elite. But... Ember, Ember had a, a whole session last time where he didn't use the orb, so I'm going to go with what Ember's actions were last session and yep. try not to metagame that too much. Fair. I don't think I don't think Simon remembered he had the daylight orb. <laughs> yeah. Plus, yeah. I think it's recharging because it was used against was used the previously. ambush. So I, I it actually I think it is actually recharging. Unfortunately. Okay. Is it a three sure. hour? Yeah. Uh, uh, that is Ember's full go. Ember might we move. Anyway. Ember might move a little bit behind the body of the grit, getting a little bit closer to Thrain, just making sure that uh, making sure he's got eyes on the grit. Uh, and eyes on the, uh, the Shadow Blades. That is Ember's full go. It is the Grick's next. Uh, the Grick that's attacking Tim. It's going to make an attack. Oh, no. Not, uh, Tim. Not Tim. 16 to hit Tim. That definitely hits Tim. Uh, that's exactly the AC. That definitely uh. hits Tim. That is going to be nine points of bludgeoning damage. Sorry, slashing damage as the Grick using these long barbed tentacles reaches out and cuts across tim's flesh did tim take any damage last uh, session yeah it's on the token tim's taken eight damage so far ah oh, sweet so you've already updated it yeah yeah yeah. so, so it's it's on the token if you um if you click on oh, it it should come up and you can do you have control of tim have i given you control of tim's token uh, let me have a look yep you should do yes good oh, you should see it there he on has negative, negative eight Oh, sorry, no, no, sorry. I, he's he's taken eight damage. I didn't have his health recorded there for the session, so oh, I just recorded okay. the damage he's he taken. taken. Eight damage, then Tim is down. Oh no, no. Tim! And I don't think he has that cool ass zombie thing. Oh, Rip we're Tim. lucky. Yeah. You guys watch as the Grick reaches forwards, the tentacles whipping forth grabbing into Tim's chest and head and torso. And with this almost wet sloshing noise, Tim comes apart, falling into pieces as the Grick tries to bite through him. Um, 
I'm so sorry. That is Tim down. Rip Tim. Rip Tim. Uh, the it's other so Grick. So sorry. Feels so bad. The other Grick is going to go for the nearest target. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Uh, it is going to rush forward towards you, Lyra. Uh, not content with taking out Tim, they're also going to try and attack you too. <coughs> Does a... 7 hit you? <laughs> no. That's the Grick's full turn. And that's the last Grick left alive. The Shadow Ooh, Blades. Can I a reaction before the sure. Grick's turns? Can yeah. I just do a cheeky Halo of Spores? Um, is that on a hit? reaction base. What is it's it? What is it? Uh, use your reaction to deal 1d4 necrotic damage. You can see whenever it moves into a space within 10 feet of you. Then you're good to go. Would you like to deal 1d4 necrotic damage uh, to the brick? Can it do a, uh, a con save, please? I can do a con save. Uh, that's a six. Yeah, that fails. Uh, so now he takes a whole. If you deal enough damage. damage. Or not quite enough, sorry. <laughs> this, you could have been a little bit higher. 1d. Oh, no, 1d4. Nah, no, this, was, this was always going to. It's going to not quite make it. Um, the Shadow Blades. Uh, the one that's uh, currently engaged with you, Bartholomew, you watch as they pull back their short sword, this sort of curved... Yeah. What was that, Lyra? I have Swampy up, don't I? You do. So it's doubled. Double to four. Oh, four damage. Take off two more. It, 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 it was almost enough. If you'd rolled one more damage, doubled... <laughs> Uh, the drow, uh, the drow shadow blade. Um, yeah, I mean, you watch as they pull out their kapesh, the, the curved sword, and strike down towards you, Bartholomew. Uh, they do not have. Here we go. Twelve. Uh, Twelve is a miss. Lovely. So the the light is doing something. It is. Yeah, yeah, absolutely doing something. And the next attack with disadvantage. Nine. Doesn't hit. Nine. Oh, okay. Nine. Two swings, two misses. The light shining from your blade, Bartholomew. You can see the drow squinting against it, trying to get closer and, and rush forwards with this curved blade, but they just cannot strike you easily with the light so bright in their eyes. Stay back, heathen hoot. Stay back, heathen hoot. Um, Zerom, who's up on the cliff. He's going to be true to his word. He's going to take a, a, a pot shot against uh, Thrain, who's currently holding up one of his companions. Uh, Thrain, two darts fly out of the darkness and uh, 24 for the first one. Oh, yeah, definitely. That's going to be five points of piercing damage. <laughs> I rolled a These one. are also with um, advantage. He has advantage against you. Because reckless attack. Ah, thank you very much. Uh, it, it's lower than 24 for the second one, so it still hits anyway. So yeah, five points of piercing damage. Perfect. And have Anything you else attached to that? I was going to ask, have you saved on a poison save yet for these guys? I don't think you have drought poison. I think I... Um... Uh, saved I on drought poison? Just roll me a con save. Roll me a con save. I think I did do it. It's a lower DC than the, uh, oh. than the Shadow Blade uh, Captain. I think oh, it'd be sorry about it be okay i think i did memory. save last session but did you okay if you, if you have saved uh yeah that's right, got, passes, anyway. Anyway, passes anyway so you're you, you're completely immune from drought poison regardless um the second crossbow is going to be 21 uh yeah that hit that with advantage too remember yep uh that is with advantage yeah, that is going to be seven points of piercing damage yep i'll take all of them as zerom looks towards you harry at crossbow at the ready and then just turns and fires at Thrain instead, seemingly unwilling to uh, to make that uh, attack on you. The Earth Elemental. Now, the Earth Elemental was given specific instructions by Niles. End her was the instruction the Earth Elemental was given. You watch as the Earth Elemental just drops into the stone, disappearing from view temporarily as it just vanishes below the earth a second later bursting up through the cliff face uh just near the water and the shadow blade elite yeah. next to the giant eagle uh it is going to make two slam attacks she was hoping to try to get away uh, unfortunately she was still within uh, that 30 foot range of burrow 
Oh my god. Um, so that's a natural 20 for the first one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Shit. Uh, that's going to be 27 points of damage Ooh. on the crit. And the second one is only a 14 to hit, unfortunately, which is a shame because uh, I actually rolled almost max damage on the second attack, 8 and 7 on 2d8s. If we'd had that with the crit, it would have done 36 points of damage on that one strike. Shit. Um, I'll say, uh, sorry, how, how's she looking? We'll take, yeah, we'll take what we have. As the as the Earth Elemental brings down one massive fist, crushing her underneath, before reaching back and reforming itself out of the stone of the cliff face, you can see blood pouring down the side of her face now. Her grip on the sword loosening. Uh, next to her, you can see Zeron looking very concerned. Um, that's the Earth Elemental's go. Bartholomew, it is your go next. I'm so bloody slow. Um, <laughs> initiative of six. Uh, okay. It's okay, you make up for it in other ways. Yeah. So, I had been thinking the entire time to, uh, just finally use the plus nine that I've got to hit with this great sword from the Channel Divinity, um, and try to kill this guy, and then rush over to another person for using the light, and then, good old, um, is it Brune Brass Axe made that, um, yeah. that donation? So that's kind of changed plans now. Um... I don't really have anything for a bonus action, uh, so I'm not going to use anything for that, but I want to use my full main action um, to attempt to converse and shout over to who I've heard referred to as um, Zerom across the way. I'm just going to be trying to stay out of the blows of the drow that's in front of me and trying to echo my voice the best that I can. True justice, you say. Zerom, I am an enemy of the stone giants caught in your domain an eternal enemy of the Duragar, especially the filthy half Dero, the Obsidian Foot. We have information about them, about their technology, how to fight them and how to defeat them. Look at the bigger picture. Not about this small skirmish and your egotistical leader, but about the continued rule of House Meren. In this grandiose grotto of the world, help us bring true justice. I'm gonna get you to roll me a persuasion check, please. Fuck. That's good. That's really good. Let's see, I'm ready. Oh no! Oh, that's oh, 10! Oh, oh no! The plus 7. Fuck. The plus 7. It's not happening. Oh. I don't even have inspiration as well. As you, Fuck. as you call out this frankly very hard to ignore plea. A lot of good points laid out succinctly and quickly, despite the pressure of combat all around you, keeping a level head as a leader. Zerom glances down towards the Shadowblade Elite, who looks back towards him. Anger in her eyes. And you see him falter. His fear of her stronger. Fuck. Yeah. Nah, okay. That's uh, alright, it just means we have to kill her. That was so- yeah. Fuck. Uh, I am going to stay where I am though. I'm not going to try to move away because I want to keep the light on this guy so he can't keep sniping at everyone like he was before. Uh, that'll be the turn. Alrighty, the Shadow Blade Mage. <laughs> Currently clutched in Thrain's hands, you watch as the Shadow Blade Mage, in a moment of panic, is going to unleash a spell. Given that he's currently terrified and in Thrain's clutches, um, Harry, could I get you to please roll me a d4 to see which spell out of these four spells he casts in his moment of fear? Oh, that's a one. It's a one. That is going to be Evard's Black Tentacles. Uh, Thrain, oh. <laughs> as you grab onto and hold the mage, you watch as he cries out in alarm and then throws his hands up wildly, trying to cast some magic to stop you. The magic doesn't strike you in the chest. Instead, it strikes the ground just underneath your feet. And a moment later darkness begins to spread from the point 
tendrils of black, inky nothingness rising out of the dark, rocky ground. Um, could I get you to please just double check? Uh, no, that's okay. It's, it's when your turn starts. We get to do some some sexy stuff. Okay. I'll drop down the uh, the marker for the tentacles. Evard's black tentacles <coughs> right here, and I'll just quickly put a zone on that so we know the just, zone. Um... What, what do these black tem- uh, tentacles look like when with other normal people, like that are like a medium build? Uh, they look like these stretching shadows, partially transparent, reaching towards trying to grasp and grapple people. Yeah. Um, it's actually a larger range than I thought, which means uh, Lyra, Flicker, oh, Ember, wow. and the Grick are all going to be caught in this. Actually, <laughs> turns out it's a lot of people. Uh, that is the mages go. Um, he can't use his shadow step um that's all he can do that's all he can do at the top of the round <laughs> we're going niles. to have to do better than that little one oh niles nilesy niles niles um jeez i yeah i was hoping to get through to the shadow blade captain but i feel like she's too far gone at this point um I can see there are some cheeks in the armor of Zerum, the, the Shadow Blade over in the rock there. Um, Niles is going to go, can he get there? Gee, he might be able to. He's going to... Yeah, fuck it. He's going to fly over to Zerum. Yeah. Fantastic. And he's going to stand in front of him. Uh, he will actually also use a bonus action uh, to what is it called? It's a key. He'll use a key point to do this, um, but he's trying really hard to not really be super. I mean, it's kind of hard because obviously all of his friends are attacking. Um, but he is going to use a key point to car uh, to use patient defense, um, just in case there are besides the uh or anyone else for that matter. Um, but as an action, uh, Niles will look at Zerum and go, Zerum, was it? I can see the fear in your eyes. Your, your captain there is so hell-bent on revenge, but have you stopped to consider that this revenge may be misplaced? What would Zaylin have for... Actually, does, 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 um, does Niles know, like, why, Zay- uh, why they're after Zaylin? Did, have, has that been, des- you, has that yeah, been mentioned? Yeah, so what you guys know bits and pieces that you've picked up is that she killed someone, someone in Yes. Yeah. yeah, you suspect from well, what we, you su- heard... we, su- we suspect someone in the house, right? Like that's yeah. yeah. We did learn a bit during the um Speak with Dead. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just because I'm just trying to ascertain because I know that H- Harry knows more because Harry's been with them. And I'm trying to remember what's what. Because I just don't want to say something that's Ironically right. you guys asked more questions about what Zayla had done than Harry did. So actually Yeah right. With your speak with dead, I think you had more information than Harry on specifically Zaylin's crimes. Yeah, I yeah okay, I'll go with that line of, of thought. Then I, I was, I'll just say, what what would Zaylin have to gain from this? Perhaps you are not seeing the full picture here. Perhaps there are there is more at play than you realize. This could all be for nothing. There's no point in fighting further if that is the case. If Zaylin is is indeed guilty, then there are other ways to solve this. It does not have to come to blows. Could you please make me a persuasion check? Um, question. Hello. I am okay with letting the shadow blade in front of me get away if it decides to run run away. Um, could I try to give Niles advantage on this by consuming my reaction to shout something during his turn of just like, believe us, like something along those lines? Absolutely. Lovely. Perfect. You I'm have advantage on this roll, Niles. So, 17's a good start. That plus three's coming in clutch for the persuasion. <laughs> 17. Oh! The dice okay. have spoken. Right. <laughs> Niles, as you fly up next to Zerum, you watch as he slowly lowers the hand crossbow and then pulls the bolt out and drops it on the ground. Oh, yes! Let's go! No. <laughs> uh, I, I, I knew you were all right, Zaylin. You knew, did you call out you knew you were all right, Zaylin, Harry? <laughs> I, I knew you were all right, yeah. 
as you say, I knew you were all right, Zaylin. You watch as everyone looks around trying to find Zaylin really quickly to see oh, if she's oh, there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Zerom, I think, is here. Yeah, Fuck, to be fair, the drow names are all, the drow names are all a bit similar. Um, I mean, you could call it a lack of imagination on my part, uh, or you could call it just the naming. The nomenclature for drow names is not uh, not super diverse. Uh, Niles, anything else on your turn? Um, no. <laughs> Fair no. enough. <laughs> no. Harry, it is your turn next. You watch as your boy takes a crossbow bolt out of his hand crossbow and drops it. Yeah, my boy. Um, okay. Um, do these tentacle things look super dangerous or just like mildly dangerous? No, they look pretty dangerous, Harry. You watch as the, like, a, a spreading pool of darkness grows across the ground and large tendrils of shadow begin rising up, attempting to grab and pull at uh, Ember, can Lyra, I, can and I Train. Can I tell, looking at the mage, if he's, like, focused? Like, is that, uh, I was, like, oh, yeah, I he looks very focused first. on this spell. You can he's see shadows right? coiling around his hands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, well, he's screaming in terror. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can Harry climb a bit, scamper a bit more on the rock, but, like, like almost crouch and um, bonus action to hide? Get a there's not a lot of places you can hide on a pillar of stone in the middle of a canyon. Um, I, I understand that, but it's like it's like elevated, and he's like on the ground, right? So I can no, like he's crap. not. Thrain, Thrain's partially climbed up a section of the wall of the canyon, and is holding him in the air a little bit as well. So they're they're to be honest, they're probably about equal with thirty feet up. Because how tall is Thrain well, when he's in his giant form? Like 12, 10 feet. Um, no, so I guess like he. What does he do? He doubles in size. Doubles I think? in size. Yeah. So if you're normally and six I foot, currently. Well, no, he's eight foot five because he's a so you're like sixteen feet, seventeen <laughs> feet tall. Sorry, Harry. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I will save my bonus action then, and I will from where I am. I don't have a crossbow, um, but Harry imagines his crossbow, and he holds it up, and aims, and he goes pew pew with his Eldritch blast on the um, mage. Fantastic. Fuck yeah. Uh, let's see what I roll. It comes through. Nice. 21 to hit. 21's going to hit. Uh, Illy rolled 1d10. Oh, wait, because it's two You beams. roll two blasts. It's two separate beams. Like, oh, a, okay, almost cool. like scorching cool. race. You get to roll again. So you can pick different targets as well if you want. Uh, yeah, so okay, 21. Also, actually, you get more damage on the beam. You just get, like, more beams. Okay, so well, five that's damage damage and one damage. But hey, I still have to roll a con save twice now. You have to so. roll two. Yeah, exactly. Exactly, because exactly, it's two separate beams. Let's have a quick look. Oh, saving those 21s to hits for... Um, oh, for, uh, first one's 18, no problem. Second one was 10. <laughs> that is the DC for a gun save. Holy Lucky. shit. Lucky. Uh, Holy shit. Oh, so he makes it. Damn it. He yeah. makes it, sorry. Yeah. It was, um, it was close, though. He almost didn't make that second one. Well, that's all Harry got. Um, well, then Harry will then scamper down and try to, again, hide in these... the bushes around the, um, the rock. Yeah, absolutely. So like, kind of like where he was before. And that's his um, bonus section to hide. The Shadow Blade Elite. Um, Jared, could you please roll me a d6? Sure. Just need to know if something's returned to her Five. or not. Five, great. Thank you. Damn. Oh, no. That's, that's very <laughs> old. <laughs> uh, where can she go? She needs to get that's away right. from that Earth Elemental. Broken. What was that? Sorry, Harry? Oh no! Uh, um, Thrain apologized, and I said that's all right because the the dice gods, the dice gods have spoken. Yeah, that's what Arnam wished. So it is. It's it shall be so. She just she needs to get away from that Earth Elemental. It is so bad news for her. Sadly, um, Owen, she's hello? in a place that is fully Earth. Yes, I know. Yeah, <laughs> there's nowhere she can go. <laughs> earth Elemental's underground. Not a good mix for uh, for anyone wanting to avoid them. <laughs> Yeah, that was very clutch, Matt. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh my god, see, all she can do, this is going to be a massive risk on her part, but she can't stay here. You watch as once again, she shrinks down, just disappearing into the shadows at the feet of the Earth Elemental, and literally pops up next to you, Harry. Um, she know where I was, though? She did not know where you were, it's just she was trying to get away from the, uh, get away from the Earth Elemental to the other side of the pillar. Uh, she's going to run past you. I've just rolled a perception check. She does not see you with a stealth of 20. As she moves out of your space, did you want to make an attack on opportunity? I use my reaction to do an attack on Yes, yes, I would very Quick much question like as well, Owen. Has she moved yet since the Booming Blade? 
No, this is the first time she's moving since the Booming Blade, but it's been a whole round since then, so I don't think it activates oh. after. Yeah, I think it is only one round. Yeah. Um, yeah, until the start of the next turn. Uh, Yeah. Oh, well, but, it is uh, I'll take an attack of opportunity. Yep. You get an attack of opportunity. Do I get Do I get advantage because she doesn't know I'm here? Uh, yeah, you're hidden. She doesn't know you're there. Oh. Twenty-one hits, uh, 21 nine hit. piercing, six sneak attack. Sneaky, sneaky. Um, uh, Harry likes to think that he like stabs at her Achilles as she runs past. Harry, as like, you, he's already crouching in the bushes. As you, as you cripple her, she pauses for a moment, turns back, pulls out her sword, and stabs it down into your head. Um, <laughs> she takes that damage. <laughs> she fucking hates you. You have you have caused her no end of trouble. Um, Harry, that is going to oh. be a 27 to hit for the first attack, oh. a 16 oh. for the next attack, so the second attack's going to miss, and a 20 for the third attack. I will shield to, to not take that third attack. Okay, so the first attack is going to deal 24 points of damage. Oh yeah, okay, 24. Yeah. Okay, yep. uh, that oh. shield was I don't want to kill a character, but you can't shield because you used, you used your reaction. Oh, you did Oh, too. yeah, yeah. All right, good uh -oh. point. I'll save That's my shield. Clutch. 24, 24 points of damage on the first attack. Um, and then the second one, which Shit. is a 20, is not natural. Uh, sorry, not a natural 20. It's a 20 total. Uh, that is going to be uh, 23 points of damage. Yeah, uh, Harry's down. Fuck! <laughs> oh, Fuck! As she, as she stabs through the top of your head, Harry, you just drop. And the last thing you see is her twisted face, this sneer across her face, bloodied as, as there is dark red blood coating the side of her head from the, the repeated oh, bludgeoning damage she, from the elemental. She, this is the second time she's downed me. Um, she's wrong. I like to think that everyone else just saw her teleport to like the bushes and stop and just start like smacking her sword at the bushes. Yeah. <laughs> she, yeah. she has sword at the bushes for a bit and then she keeps running with the rest of her movement because so far she's not used to any movement. She then runs out of the uh, out of the bushes. She's going to go 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, getting as far away from the earth elemental as she physically can. Um... Oh, actually. She was there. Actually, her better movement is 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, just running on the diagonal as far away from the Earth Elemental as she possibly can. Um, that is going to be her go. Lyra. She, if she goes over here, though, she'll be putting this rock between them. Yeah, that's, that doesn't work. <laughs> as she's seen. <laughs> <laughs> as the Earth Elemental just walks through the rock. I was sort of hoping she would stay there because I had a... Damn. Yeah. Unfortunately, her unfortunately, her. unfortunately she's at the point. I throw the mage at her into this rock. <laughs> <laughs> unfortunately, she's at the stage where she wants to get as far away from that earth elemental as she possibly can. Um, Lyra, who's your go next? Is it double movement through this area? Uh, from the that's a good question, actually. First off, that's a good point. We need to do your Evard's Black Tentacles. Could I please get you to make me a dexterity saving throw? Yeah. Don't roll bad oh, that's, nine. that's that's bad. Uh, you are going to take nine points of bludgeoning damage, and you are now restrained as the tentacles slam into you and wrap around you, holding you in place. Right. And oh, with res sorry, I was going to say with restrained, uh, is that just no movement, or is that no nothing? Restrained is speed is zero and attack rolls against you have advantage, your attack rolls have disadvantage, and you have disadvantage on dexterity saving throws. You can use All your right. action to make a strength or dex save to try and get out of these tentacles. All right, so bonus, oh, wait, no, because she can't reach from here. All right, we're going to try and do that action escape. <laughs> uh. Strength or dex save, you do have disadvantage on dexterity uh, checks as well while you're restrained. I think, isn't restrained both? Or is it just dex? And saving throws. Yeah, sorry, just saving throws. Yeah, so so you are, you are yeah, you have disadvantage on dex saving throws. You can make a strength or dexterity check to get out, but you don't have disadvantage on the dexterity check because it's like a, essentially a athletics or acrobatics check to get out. All right, so is it, wait, so am I doing a check or a save? So, 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 so okay, so the first time it's a dex save. 
Now it's a check, oh, athletics uh, or acrobatics, okay, to, to use your action you. to get out. All right. Uh, so let's I try that Evards. acrobatics. Evards is the perfect combo of crowd control and chip damage, oh, where you just basically fill up <laughs> to nine. <laughs> as, as you go to run away, the tentacle just back slaps you, knocking you kind of sideways, and then tightens its grip around you. Oh, wait, can I face step as my bonus action? Yeah. While I'm restrained? Yeah. All right, we are escaping. Um, and it's 30 feet, I think, sorry. And you can do something to this grip as well as you try to leave, I'm pretty sure. Is, your, do you, yeah. is it fear that you can do to it when you're awesome? Uh, charm. Charm. I don't believe uh, is that when you, is that when you, you leave, leave or when you, when you leave, leave or teleport to the spot when you Which leave it? it's okay. within 10 feet i think uh immediately after using face step after two creatures you can see within 20 to 10 feet of you must succeed honestly that must be where you arrive with that one because it's uh within 10 feet immediately after using it so it's it's where you're arriving riz up the elite <laughs> Yeah. yeah, there's a few. There's a few oh. that are. Yeah, they do different things. They have some some imagine. triggers you leave. Some triggers you arrive. Yeah, yeah. Riz up the elite players. Yeah, just. Yeah. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, no, that'll work well. I you hope I'm not chewing myself in the foot here. Yep. Hmm? Are you gonna try and face step to her to try and charm her? Yes. You okay. Can go let's see. Ten feet no. At least. You don't have to go left feet. Wait. No. Hang on. Do the drow have elven like anti That's hard to know. Are the drow elves? Hmm. <laughs> they are called dark elves. Not, a, not immune to it. And this isn't any sort of metagaming. This will be yeah. stuff that I get. We'd, we'd all know. Not immune to it, but advantage. I don't know if you'd all know that, but definitely an Eladrin would know that. Eladrin. Yeah. Have any of us not encountered elves? Oh, but how many of you would know specifically that you, it's hard to charm elves? You might, you might be like, oh, elves are so charming themselves. But like, I, I wonder, like, would would you know everyone's like strengths and weaknesses to that level of degree? Hard to know. I mean, we, we all we all spend time learning elvish. That's true. It's true. It's very true. I, I would argue that like maybe uh, Bart, <laughs> Barton might know that because of his stat of his of his like level. That's true. In the, in the That's very true. Geography. It would make sense from a diplomatic perspective to know that about the elves, so I would That's argue that you would know that. But... Yeah, I better make a uh, saving throw against being charmed. Wiz save, please. Wiz save. I can do that. The real question of um, what was, what's taught in schools in medieval fantasy settings? Oh yeah, it's like it's like in uh, the first Pokemon where it's like you go to the school <laughs> and you learn all the type and fantasy. Yeah. <laughs> it's like yes, yeah, so... I rolled I like a that four. Out. And a 13. Does a 13 pass? It does not pass! Oh, I didn't think so. <laughs> I didn't think so. You watch as you appear oh, in front of her. Autumn leaves dancing around you, this like light shining from behind. And as you sort of like look towards her and bat your eyelids a little bit, you watch as she sort of like pauses for a second and turns towards you, the grip on her long sword growing a little bit faint. <laughs> she just like. Sort of looks at you blinking a little bit, a bit dumbfounded by your presence. Uh, seeing that it's worked, I think Lara sort of, you know, sort of try and talk back to her and just be like, we're all friends now, right? Right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, shit. As she, as she looks towards you, she goes, I am, um, you are uh, rather an enthralling creature, but th these monsters, we must kill them all. She looks towards the rest of the group. If they're friendly, wait, are you, are you my friend at least? She kind of like pauses and goes, hey, I, I seem to trust you for some reason. I, my mind feels- I trust any person. <laughs> yeah. Um, so charms <laughs> means that she can't take any hostile actions towards you, but uh, you also get uh, advantage on any uh, checks against her for social stuff, basically. Oh. Ira's specialty. Any uh, any ability checks uh, to interact socially, you have advantage on, and she cannot attack you <laughs> with any abilities or magical effects. Or keep in mind that she still views us as an enemy. So yeah, she it's will just you, Ira. Hurt all of us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I was hoping if I could get her to say, convince her to say yes to just being a friend of some form, that the others might be more easily swayed. Do you want to try and persuade her? Do you want to try and be like, we're best friends, right? 
<laughs> hey, uh, well, I'm not sure if I've got because I've used my bonus action in action, so you still got movement. Got a free. <laughs> yeah, we're talking. Yeah, talking is um, a free action, as uh, as we all know. All right. In that case, um, she might just sort of try and go with the points that the others have sort of all been saying. It's like, come on. I mean, point. Like, fighting like this is pointless. I mean, either you're going to kill us or we're going to kill you, but you know, way people are going to die and that's really not cool. Like, wouldn't it be better if we just helped each other and didn't fight? Make me a persuasion check with advantage, please, Lyra. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. One. Eh. Oh, no. Uh, <laughs> oh, no. no. <laughs> First oh, roll's no. a natural one. <laughs> Second roll's a ten. <laughs> As she looks towards you, I, I know I can trust you, but these others, they have proven themselves deceptive time and time again. They are creatures that are not to be trusted. I mean, to be fair, I mean, you've, you've deceived us time and time again, but we're friends. I mean, look at us here, surrounded on the battlefield by all this chaos and just two good friends, just uh, not killing each other. They can learn a thing or two. She looks over at Harry's limp body in the bushes and a smile touches her face. <laughs> <That's the laughs> <end of it. laughs> you, see, you see a ball like rolling out of the bush. <laughs> <laughs> a single ear flops out of the bush. Um, um, it, did, it did just occur yeah. to me that no one knows where Harry is and he's down. Yeah. <laughs> that's uh, oh, that actually changes how I'm going to do this next turn. Harry had a no, twenty gonna... on his. You can look. I'll have. I'll have. If you guys want to sort of like make a perception check, I'm happy to have that. But okay. his stealth was a twenty. Um, he's not. He's not going to yeah, be as stealthy when he's unconscious because his body's obviously. He's not like like hiding in the shadows, clutching some bushes around himself. He's prone on the ground, blood leaking from him. Um, okay. So we'll be a bit easier to see. Stop a few swings at him. Yeah, she she uh, stopped, slammed that. a sword into oh, a bush a few yeah, times and then ran away. <laughs> we we do know approximately where it is. Okay. Actually, there was there was a pause as she stabbed the bush twice. She paused, looked up, smiled for a moment, and then ran off. Like yeah. then carried on running. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, Lyra, you still have control of the eagle. I was just gonna say. I'm a little bit hesitant to send it towards the elite because I'm trying this whole uh, friendship substitute kind of thing. Uh, the eagle has, was it 80 feet of movement? Oh, wow. Uh, well, speedy. All right, in that case... Ah, the, the, the early bird gets the worm. I see what you're thinking. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking I'm going to... That Grick's currently flying, surrounded right? by... The, the Grick that's in Eva's black tentacles... I'm going to say this for free. It's not going to survive. <laughs> All right. It's being bashed by dark grid. tendrils. Yeah. <laughs> the one that killed Tim. Don't you want revenge for Tim? Revenge for Tim. Revenge uh, for Tim. Yeah. Uh, can you please roll me a d20 and then a d20? Plus five on both. And it's 1d6. Oh, the first. no. What are these rolls? <laughs> Two nines. Eight, eight and a ten. Uh, oh no, sorry, that's my rolls. Four and four. I rolled the damage for you. It was good damage, unfortunately. Uh, <laughs> you would have done eight damage do and ten damage. This, this whole era appears to be like an NPC fight. Yeah. The yeah, yeah. and then the eagle now. Let's yeah, just leave the, it at the... As the eagle swoops in, trying to like slam into the Grick, pecking away and striking up with its talons, the Grick is just too fast. It ducks and weaves underneath the talons, narrowly avoiding the snapping beak. Does not seem to do any damage. Uh, Thrain. Is your turn next? At the start okay. of your turn, I need you to make me a dexterity saving throw, please, as you are currently right, surrounded by Evard's black tentacles. Because of danger sense. Indeed. Yeah. Yep, perfect. Cool, cool. Uh, Danger sense. 12. 12 is. Not enough. Ooh, fail. Not enough? Not enough. That is a fail. Uh, you are okay. going to take. Oh! You're going to take 15 points of bludgeoning damage. And you okay. are restrained. I'm going to do a stone's endurance to do some re reduction there. Fourteen, I take one damage. Holy uh, shit! It's... All right, perfect. I got one of those left. We should, cool. we should probably call oh. it like Frost's endurance, given your uh, Frost yeah, Giant perfect, heritage. Yeah, actually, yeah. So Frost, Frost endurance, almost P like permafrost's endurance. <laughs> permafrost. Yeah. <laughs> 
That's what it's called for you. It's just permafrost as you just like surround yourself with this impossibly nice. compacted and hard ice. Well, yeah, that's what I like to think. Like it almost like there's always this sheen across my body, and then like when something hits me, it almost like moves to the location, and then like yeah. all these like because it's all over my body, it then concentrates in one spot and like really deadens a lot of the impact. Like it literally, only took one damage from that. Yeah, that's fifteen damage. That's pretty cool. Do you, do you know how I imagine it? It's like in uh, Attack on Titan, where the Titans like use the the freeze ability to like freeze uh, parts of their yeah. body. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, that's cool, actually. Yeah, it's pretty sick. Uh, yeah, so you awesome. you have disadvantage on attacks, uh, and attacks against you have advantage, and your speed is zero. Okay. Um, I want to. I do want to have a quick scan over the battlefield. Obviously, I don't know that Harry got taken down, but I feel like because I've been having my back to this person, I'm like, <laughs> you'll think this is enough to stop me, little one, and then I'll just sort of like because I actually feel pretty good now. I've got this person down i've only taken one damage realistically like the i haven't noticed the other technicals like, effects i'm going to quickly scan over the battlefield just to see how all my friends are doing uh ember's currently in the midst of evard's black tentacles uh looking like he's about to get hit by them um the grick looks like it's about to be destroyed by them bart and the shadow blade assassin up in the northwest are just having a very private very intimate fight to the death um yep. <laughs> the eagle is currently trying to peck a worm uh, harry is nowhere to be seen, and Lyra and the Shadowblade Elite seem to be braiding each other's hair. No idea what's going on there. Uh, <laughs> and Niles and Zerom seem to be doing that as well, I guess. <laughs> I mean, I know that Harry's down. Would I even do a perception check there? Like, Harry's always hiding. No one seems to be in immediate danger, hey? Yeah, it's a good question. Uh, yeah, I didn't really see a strike down either because I had my back to everyone pretty much. So I'm actually, I was planning on doing a perception check, but. Unfortunately, I don't really. I think, from a meta standpoint, I don't think there's any real reason to at the moment. I know there is, but I know that Frank yeah. doesn't. No, that's so, exactly right. I'm just gonna. Unfortunately, um, uh, Jared, like Thrain's gonna just keep attacking the mage that he has currently, especially because he knows that like once the mage gets hit, they tend to lose effects on their spells. They and do. That would probably be handy because that Ember is fighting currently, so he wants to help that Ember. So, so would you like to that. reckless these to remove the disadvantage? Yeah, I'll definitely reckless these to remove, remove the disadvantage. Just a 23 flat roll to hit. Uh, 23 is going to hit. 18 slashing damage. 18 oh, slashing. Yeah. Okay. That's that's a that, oh, that's that a is a 12. tough I DC. A on that. That's that a tough big. DC to beat for a Constitution that's... saving throw, and he does not that's... beat it. You watch as Evard's black tentacles. <laughs> The magic fizzles and dies. <laughs> is this all you can conjure, little one? <laughs> I'll show you what I can conjure, you brute! Uh, As you slowly crush I, him. I have one of my favorite spells to cast. I called it Cast Iron. Oh, I, knew I knew that was coming. The great <laughs> I knew that was coming. <laughs> 15, uh, 15 is not okay. enough to hit. Okay. Oh no, sorry, sorry, it's the mage. 15 is enough to hit. Oh, okay, then that's another 15 slashing damage. Thrain, how do you want to do this? <laughs> I stare at him in the eyes. <laughs> do you? Do you? That was enough, little one. I then, I then use. So I'm actually going to do the first one as it the pommel, like almost because I I smacked him with the blunt end of the axe. This yep. time I'm going to like wind him with. So I'm going to place him almost down on on the on the rock. I'm going to pin. I'm going to like hit the uh, the pommel into his sort of like lower midsection chest, forcing him lunging forward. His head is now in a perfect position. I raise up my axe and I decapitate him like I did the other one. Oh! <laughs> you did promise you would do that. <laughs> and I promise. And as uh, his head sails down the cliff face, <laughs> uh, like another. I I promise. I promise. <laughs> as you throw the body down on the stones, look out. Another. <laughs> and some mad parody of Thor. I'll let the um, I'll let the mage. I'll kick the mage off the cliff too, so it falls with its head, and then oh. I proclaim, "Shuttle blade elite." Like, what's, sorry, what's the actual name? I shouldn't just say shuttle blade. You I don't know. We don't know a name. <laughs> I don't know who your name is, but I will add your head to my growing tally. <laughs> uh, next to you, Lyra, you watch as she points at Thrain and goes, "This is what I'm talking about." <laughs> oh, I see you. Hello over there, and I wave as she points. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, anything else like on your turn, Like, hello, little one. You've still got your movement. 
Because you you were restrained, but as oh, soon as yeah, he buzzed, I'm going to goes. jump down here. I'm not even going to try and grapple or climb. I'll take the damage from the fall. I don't know how much it is. Two. <laughs> okay, thanks. Jesus. As I, as I fall, God as I jump it. down, I'm like, my eyes are staring at the elite. I jump down, and the ground sort of shakes for like, like, like I'm, I'm big, but I'm not like super big, but it shakes for like a second. And then at 40 feet, I just dash as much as I can. So tw uh, 10, that's, that's actually horrifying. 15, 20, 25, 30. I take damage from the Grick, I don't mind if it attacks. It's definitely going to attack you, yeah. And I'm right up at the elite. 40 feet of movement, because I'm a barbarian, obviously. Um, I've uh, taken two attacks already, though. 22. Grick's going to hit you. Okay, that's fine. It's going to be I, I am just... nine points of uh, slashing damage. Fucking bricks. Just... Thanks, Dave. You're... But they honestly, like, I'm just locked eyes on this Shadow Blade Elite. I'm sprinting, looking at her. I take the hit, and not even like breaking. I just keep running for her. Like, imagine like that. Imagine what that must look like. Like taking a massive it's hit terrifying. for a group yeah. to That's just horrifying. keep this giant just is locked onto you. As I'm getting closer, the, the excitement in my eyes starts getting, like, my eyes get bigger, and this smile starts creeping across my face as I get closer. It's like yeah. a, it's like a boom, boom, medium, boom. it's like an ATV with legs just yeah. running at you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like, like a compact ATAT, -AT, basically. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Ember yeah. is going to... What's Ember's passive perception? Oh, actually, I, um, not nine damage, by the way, that's down to four because my resistance is, yeah. is it what damage was it yeah. uh slashing, slashing. non-magical okay, slashing. Yeah, so i do get i do get yeah. a resistance to that perfect thank you sorry this curse yeah Ooh, okay hey look Ember this, this, is going i'm to... meant to be the main tank so and the stones oh. endurance helps me in my tanking even more oh yeah you're doing a great job tanking. actually you know what i've noticed like the stones endurance or the frost endurance has helped me mitigate a lot of the damage that i can't normally mitigate because slashing piercing and um the other one bludgeoning, bludgeoning. Yeah. i can resist that from the rage but anything else i'm not like a i only have cold resistance i'm not obviously the uh bear totem so that and frost endurance is keeping is clutch a lot for me so that's been really fun sorry that was just my little my little no, chat awesome. i'll pass it over to you yeah well uh ember's basically going to try and um ember's going to try and locate and find um find Harry. He's going to do fiery teleportation uh, to teleport up and then is going to cast cure wounds on Harry. Uh, that nice. is going to be uh, Harry, that's going to be six points of healing. Hey, he's thank, off. You, thank, thank you, Ember. Thank you. Uh, yeah, you, you're welcome. Um, thank just God. <laughs> try, not to, try not to go down again where people can't see you. Just as a... Yeah, fool, fool, fool me once, it's on me. Fool me twice, still on me, but she's not going to hit me a third time. She, she might, though. She looks pretty dangerous. Uh, and then Ember's going to move up. Still got a bonus action. Nah, there's nothing he can do in a bonus action. Uh, Ember's just going to look back and like, give you a thumbs up. Uh, the Gricks. Uh, well, the Grick that didn't get a good bite on you is going to have another go. <laughs> Thrain. Uh, oh, that yeah, is no, going that's fine. to be... <laughs> Uh, 12 to hit for the first one, so that's definitely not going to hit. Um, hey. So, no, it doesn't get to it do any more further often. attacks. Uh, well, it, can uh, only, it can only do its second attack if it hits the first this, attack. Though. I yeah. hate to do this. You don't Are you have rolling advantage. with advantage? No, because you, did you attack recklessly with it? You did. I that's had right. to, to make it a flat roll, so uh, I hate 18. to do it. Yeah, yeah, that does hit. That's going to be eight points of uh, slashing damage, which means it then gets so to make its four. second attack. Yeah, baby. Uh, the second attack is a 20, not a natural 20, just a 20. Okay. That is yep. going to be uh, five points of slashing damage. So two? Two. Can we round down? And then okay. the other Grick is okay, going to make an attack bad. against the Eagle. Damn, I hate being honest sometimes. <laughs> 17 <laughs> against the Eagle. Um, That's definitely going to hit the Giant Eagle. Eagle. 13 is the yeah, other class. That's like definitely that. going to hit. And then the next attack is going to be a 14, which just hits as well. Uh, that's going to be... Five points of damage. The eagle's down. You watch as with a... Poof, the eagle vanishes. Oh my god. That Grick is just the... Like, 
He is it's my just Taylor at summons. <laughs> yeah, he fucking hates Lyra's summons. Uh, keep, the, uh, keep the earth elemental away from it. <laughs> it's then got its movement. It's going to move 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 up towards uh, Ember and Harry. <laughs> Not satisfied. <laughs> Not satisfied with taking out Lyra's summons. Now it's going for Lyra's friends. Um, the Shadow Blades. Uh, Zerom has surrendered. Next to you, Niles, you watch as Zerom looks over at the Shadow Blade Elite looking very concerned as he turns towards you he pauses for a moment and then shakes his head she, she's not going to go down easily she's more powerful than you could possibly imagine she she is terrifying oh i think we can find a way uh the other shadow blade is going to make some attacks against bartholomew uh bartholomew does a uh oh natural one doesn't hit you Woo! 17 hoot hoot uh hoot that does hit me <laughs> uh, nine Damn. points of slashing damage as the first strike forwards just goes right through missing you entirely the second strike a lucky hit manages to cut through across as he brings the sword back on a slash uh you've already made a save against the drow poison you do not need to make another yeah um, not nice that is the shadow blades full go Chunky Boy. Uh, Chunky Boy Earth Elemental is still following his last instruction, which was end her. He is going to move uh, his full movement, and then he's going to dash to move another 30 feet. So that's going to be 60 feet of movement to uh, end her. Uh, 5, 10, 15, uh, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. 50, 55, 60 as he moves up. <laughs> oh Thrain, my God. you watch as next to you an enormous hulking monstrosity of stone doesn't even walk up there's no ground shaking you watch as it sinks into the stone up to its like waist and then with this rumbling noise begins oh. moving through the earth you know work. what i actually say to the thing as it pops up Oi. yeah hey don't you steal my kill i claim this one back off <laughs> the earth elemental turns towards you this large angular stony oh, I face say this in primordial by the way yeah I, oh, it, really? it, it turns towards you and goes i have been commanded and then looks back towards uh, the drow. Okay, go for it. <laughs> uh, it can't. That was its action. Uh, Bartholomew, yeah. it is your oh, go next. Okay, nice. Uh, That's a dash. Okay. Um, a lot of thoughts uh, of what to do. To be honest, the first main one um, is going to be, I guess, a little bit of just uh, shout over to um, uh, Lyra. Uh, Lyra, blow the whistle. Um, after that. I'm going to try to attack the Shadow Blade in front of me twice. We'll just get that out of the way. Um, oh, am I? Sunlight oh, Sensitivity is, has disadvantage, not I have advantage, correct? That's correct. Okay, okay. So still hitting the first one. Yep. I'll draw the attack roll for the second as well. Oh, okay, some good rolls. 27. Let's do some damage. Um, so there's no add-ons. I don't have any spell slots. I've got max damage roll for the first one. Nice. 14. Points of damage. And oh, 11. shit. Uh, so 20, 25 points of damage with the two strikes. Hey, Bart. Yeah? How do you want to do this? A lovely. Um, my plan was to, after this, whether he was living or not, start running over to the Shadow Blade. I've been seeing the Shadow Blade moving around through the shadows. Uh, go. my thought is that if I can get this bright light on her, that will stop that ability. As long as we can reduce her movement, which was the final second shout I wanted to do after this, try trying to coordinate everyone. Uh, so sort of just not even realizing that I did finish it off, the same as everyone else. I'm just going to bat this one's body the same way that I was moving, and it's going to probably like fly up in this direction and then tumble down the edge of the cliff. Um, another just batter swing towards it. Perfect, you um, watch as the body tumbles head over heels down the cliff, striking into the ground below with a sickening thud. We're 20 feet high or 30 feet high? 30 feet cliff. high. 30 feet, I will try my best to sort of slide down. Um, I'll probably take some damage, but I'm, I'm wanting to try to, so I was here. Try to make 10, me an acrobatics inside, or athletics but... check to sort of like mitigate that full damage as you slide down the side. Uh, 18 athletics check. 18, that's only going to be... Kidding me? One point of damage. Yeah, lovely. <laughs> it's almost not Nine. even worth it. Wow. It's like, why don't even bother rolling? Just what was the point? 
Uh, I'll Ugh. take it because I'm basically sliding down um, yeah. to try, try to save on movement. I'm going to be able to get to there with 30 feet. And then the uh, other two quick instructions to the, the group trying to sort of rally us together. Um, actually, no, I don't need to. The first one was going to be for Ember and Harry to finish off the Shadow Blade that I would have left behind, but he's dead now. Um, so it's just going to be towards Niles, who I, I know is going to be soon acting. Um, Niles, hold her still. You cannot let her move out of my light. Um, and that's going to be the, um, the end of my turn. Niles, at the top of the round, it is your turn next. I can't get there to do that, but... Um... Oh, true. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure Thrain might have some ideas of grappling her. Do you have any key points left? I do. Um, Step of the wind. Yeah, but that plays into something else. Like I can try. I'll, I'll, I'll give it a whirl. Not my strong get another plane this time, but that's, uh, the idea is that yeah, mm, might hopefully she's up there from dancing. I guess the other thing too, Matt, is like, yeah, it, it, like the Shadow Blade, like you just... Like he's just, he's like, surrendered to us now? Like, is that... Yeah. So we're just gonna yeah. leave him unattended? Like, I, uh, I mean, that's that's a that's a that's a risk, right? That's a, if he were a prisoner, he might run away. But he, he's friends with Harry, right? Uh, Look, that, <laughs> it's a stretch. Is, you're honestly, you're your discretion. You do what you want to do, man. Like, an hour. Don't worry too much about us. We can handle this shadow blade elite if you want to do something else. Like, you do what you want to do, man. If you had yeah. other plans, one hundred percent. No, and my plan was to go over there. Um, yeah. Um, Plus, to get out of light, she's still going to take a free hit from Thrain, but I just don't think that one hit's going to take her down. Wait a second. I just need to look at the... Um, as much as I believe in our, our big boy. Hey, look. I do have one more Frost Strike left. Oh, if I oh hit her, that would be clutch, man. So, look. Look, that's... Don't know. Don't, don't underestimate how, how bad the Earth Elemental has been for her. Oh, like, a Earth creature Elemental that she cannot deal huge amounts down. of damage to. Yeah, a creature uh, that is basically what, a yeah, damage sponge for the rest of you. Well, I understand that the problem though is that her turn's before it. Yeah, she's, we'll she's taken, she's dealt 51 points of damage this Earth Elemental and it's looking fine. <laughs> like, um, Earth Elementals are, are that's crazy. They're beefy boys, 126 is the average HP for an Earth Elemental. So it's... I'm, Niles is going to look at the uh, at the dude. Uh, what's his name again? Zerom. Um, Zerom. Zero. -E like, I can see, I can see the fear in his face. Uh, it's very evident. Um, and Niles is just going to say, "You don't have to worry about her anymore. You're, you're free. Uh, she might still be standing now, but I don't think she will be for much longer. Her, her face is, has been written. Uh, this is what she has decided for herself. Um, uh, you, you, there's nothing more here to be done except to." see her fall you do not have to share her fate you have proven that um if you wish to remain here you can i wish to, to speak with you about among other uh, among other things when this is done um but rest assured we will keep you safe as long as you do not try and do anything foolish you have made me a traitor to my people there is nowhere that i can run and hide from now oh but no there is card. Give him a there, car. Of course there <laughs> is, my friend. I call it a car. <laughs> we got we, we Zaylin out. We even have yes. an intro video to show you soon. I mean, Zaylin is waiting for you, yeah. I mean, I was going to tell her that, but You guys are pitching the Tempest Guild like some sort of pyramid scheme. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, fuck it, of course I am. Um, I get, get a good kickback. Every new member I bring on, every new adventure, I get 10% of your gold. <laughs> what? Yeah, I basically say like, what? There's an entry video. Uh, sorry, multi-level marketing scheme, multi-level adventuring guild. <laughs> I, I do say, I do say, like, you are completely alone. Your, uh, your, your quarry, Zaylin, is waiting for you. Um... Once you join, you need to get three adventurers yourself to join. Yes! <laughs> we call them interns. I really need to say quota! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's amazing. Okay, let's see how that plays out. That'd be fun. And besides, if there are many like-minded individuals such as yourself, you think that this is all there is? The Underdark, the Lost Sworn? No. There's a chance for you yet. I can show you the aristocracy. There's Take a whole the world out there. A whole new world. He just sort of, you can see that he is clearly deeply conflicted about his decision. In the moment, his cowardice kind of won. And now you can see him 
desperately wondering if he's made the right decision. The full the full weight of understanding of what he's done and the consequences it's going to have for him still weighing heavy on his shoulders. Your words seem to well, seem to a little bit have an effect. They seem to sort of um, buff him slightly in terms uh, of his feeling, like encourage him slightly, but you can see that he is deeply conflicted about his decision. Well, look, if anything helps, seeing a massive you know, frost giant and an earth elemental that to devastate the person he was scared of, that might help. <laughs> um, that's all a free action. I'm now going to use my actual action to, uh, uh, can I do Step of the Winds? I probably can. It's not what I wanted to do, but I'm going to do it anyway, because I trust Bart. Uh, so yeah, Step of the Wind, key point, will move myself over from Zerom, hopefully thinking that I've convinced him to not, you know, run off. Um, and I'm going to get in behind the Shadow Blade, probably quite foolishly, actually. Um, but fuck it. We, we're balling, boys and girls. Um, <laughs> yeah. And I'm going to use my action to try and, uh, yeah, uh, restrain her. Make me yeah. an athletics or acrobatics check. Oh, it's definitely going to be an acrobatics check. You sure? 100%. Are you sure? Do you want it? Yeah, oh, okay. well... Uh, that's an 18. Ah, oh, it's a 12. Ah, hey, let's go! As you just, f- from nowhere, Niles, <laughs> a quick, like, sweep of your wings rising you high into the air, the darkness of the caves masking your presence, your silent owl feathers providing no clue as to your whereabouts before you drop, suddenly appearing from the sky above, kicking down against her, kind of like knocking out the back of her legs, causing her to drop as you grab her arms and pull them behind her, locking her in almost like a headlock with your claws. It's a, it's a technique used to help like disable Owl and an Aarakocra mid-flight. You basically come down from above, one foot on the back of the back, claws holding the wings back so that you can control them, and then like the other claw, your other clawed foot around the neck from above as you just knock her down and grab her in this position. Hey. She is currently grappled. The shadow in your heart makes you weak. It could have all been different. Very nice. Harry, it's your turn next. Oh yeah, I am ready for this. Um, grappled has disadvantage. No. Uh, grappled speed is just zero. Okay. <coughs> um, Harry will use his. Imagine like grappled is like level one, where you're just like holding onto someone. Restrained is where you've kind of got them pinned so that you can have that extra attack or that extra ability to hit them. Fair enough. Uh, Harry will use his bonus action to dash. Um, What's Harry going to do? He's just going to run and go stabby stabby. (laughs) I should have known. Yeah. Uh, So that's 45 minutes. Don't forget about that, Greg. That's in front of you. Harry, as you run past the Grick. <laughs> I was here, right? You were yeah, one back from me. Uh, so I was, uh, I you was can try and run here, around. You can try and run around. There might be a way for you to get around. Five, ten, is, is that where, yeah. yeah, I'm using dash. I have 60 altogether. Oh, so. yeah, you got that. Oh, you're, okay, you're fine. Then. So I'll use like 50, 55 feet to get there. I was, I was kind of hoping the Grick could take Harry down <laughs> just for the fun. Yeah, again. <laughs> Could you imagine? Um, oh, Jesus. I can. Actually, Harry, there's one more thing I need you to do that we didn't do uh, when you were knocked to zero, and that's actually I need you to make me an injury check, oh, yeah. please. Um, uh, the DC uh, is 21, which is the damage that knocked you to zero. <laughs> Could you please make me a constitution saving throw? That's an eight. That's an eight. Uh, could you please roll me a d20, please? Um, and this is necrotic damage Ooh, she dealt. Oh no, Harry. Oh, Harry. <laughs> That's the worst you could have rolled. <laughs> oh, the necrotic no. energy burning through your body has partially severed your soul's connection to it. Your skin takes on a deathly gray pallor and wounds no longer heal at the same rate. You gain half the hit points from healing magic, rolling hit dice during a short rest or when taking a long rest. Powerful oh. magic is required to heal this damage. Fuck. Please so add that to your notes. Three HP. Um, yep. 
Not six. Oh, oh no, 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 no. So the... Oh, yeah, because it would have affected when you got knocked down. Yeah, that's true. Uh, and if you could copy the uh, severed soul condition uh, into your character sheet until you were uh, healed with some pretty powerful magic. <laughs> I still have my brain damage written here. Um, yeah, that has been healed, go. actually. The brain damage has yep. been dealt with, so you can remove that. No, I'll leave it there as, like, as a, as a nostalgia thing. <laughs> can, you, can you write down, <laughs> like, resolved been... next to it just so we know that you have dealt with it? Yeah, okay, sure. That's actually kind of good. Um, it would be good to like get to the end of the campaign and like maybe as part of the, the epilogue, we'll discuss your characters in the context of the injuries they like with <laughs> they took as part of the journey. Like Harry's brain damage it's manifests full itself as like Harry, isn't it? It's early it onset dementia really for new. Harry when he's yeah. like <laughs> <laughs> later on. Yeah. Um resolve. Yeah, okay. So Thank you. I will run in there and go stabby stabby with a booming blade. Brilliant. So she can't run away. I like, there's um, there's a game that I like to play where if you do get um, like like this is a, a different computer game, but the characters in that when they take injuries, it affects them stat wise. So like one of the brain injuries is like it makes them really like, like, it improves their resolve a lot because they don't fear anything. Wait, just, like, are you talking about Battle Brothers? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. I love that game so much. Nice. It is good. I was actually playing it uh, yesterday. Oh really? I, I just sort of had a hankering for it. Just, I just wanted to relax and play some games. It's a good one. Right, yeah. 18 relax. definitely hits Harry. And that's a booming blade, mm -hmm. is it? Yep. Very nice. So that is 12 plus 8, 6. That's 18 damage. Um, and I will Harry. use my last 10 feet of movement to move. Yes. Don't even bother. How do you want to do this? No way! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um... I think oh, it's yeah. appropriate Harry. that Harry, Harry, like back from the dead, like your your <laughs> fur, Harry. Normally, this sort of like warm brown is this deathly grey pale, like the because your skin is hidden underneath your fur. Your fur is like falling out in clumps. Your body looks like it is partially reanimated. You do not look healthy. And as you rush up with three hit points, this necrotic energy burns through you. Your eyes now almost like a glowing ghostly green. And every time you move, there's like this after image as your soul is not connected properly to your body anymore. As you just rush up and stab her, <laughs> you just see the fear in her eyes. She turn around, turns around and sees like the ghost of this rabbit that she just killed coming back for revenge. It, 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 oh. It's going to take more, more than th th that to keep, keep me down. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Um, and Harry like loses his balance and falls into her with the rapier going into her and they both just drop him before the other. Harry, Jesus. as you kill someone with your packed weapon, could I get you to please roll me a charisma check? So d20 plus your charisma. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Um, I'll just roll a d20 and we'll add my modifier. Sure. It's gonna uh, happen now. My modifier is plus four, so that's an 11. 11, okay. Harry, as your blade stabs into this woman, you watch as she opens her mouth to scream and then suddenly freezes. And both Harry and this drow glitch for a second. You watch as there's almost like this disruption of form as they go from standing to on the ground to like halfway in between before then glitching down onto the ground fully as if they were sort of falling but the frame rate not quite matching up and as um, harry oh yeah niles yeah i was gonna say what does niles think of all this because i'm literally still holding her as this oh, is this, all going this, down this yeah there's, there's still a little bit more so niles might oh, yeah. have some opinions on this as as harry goes to stand you watch as the blade that he's holding begins to glow with this faint purple light the gemstone on the back of your hand, Harry, pulsing with the same energy. And as you pull the blade free and slowly like climb to your feet, you watch as this light pulls from her. Almost this ghostly outer like after image of, of, of her pulled towards the blade. And as it swirls around and embeds itself into your gemstone, you watch as this energy is pulled in and then the sword and the gemstone go dark once again. Holy shit! Uh, uh, Niles just looks like his mouth just wide. Uh, uh, uh Harry? What, what, are you? What was, what was that? Oh, I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe it was something to do with this necronic crap I have all over me. Oh, yeah, you don't look good at all. Uh. Hey, you, you know, stole I mean, my character. 
Oh, I thought you were sharing. Well, she it was revenge. You you get that, right, Trey? She's she 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 hit me with a crossbow and 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 knocked me out, and then she she stabbed me in the head. And, Wait, um, what? Yeah, just in the bushes over there. We had a little moment. You were stabbed in the head. Guys, there's yeah. still one more Grick with Ember. Right here. Oh, oh, I look it's at my two, side. Actually. There's a Grick that's latched onto me like a leech. There's only one more. There's, oh, no, there is. There's another Grick latched onto me. Everyone just casually talking. Yeah, it's like, um, yeah, it's fine. I like to think that's like a numb in my, my arm. and Ember all have a turn before the Gricks do. Um, do you want to just, just in the interest of getting through this, because one of the Gricks has yeah, like no, three it's... hit points left. One of them has like 20. <laughs> I don't think they're going to survive this. <laughs> oh, honestly, like, like no. casually, I'll just like pull the one out from this, like, like almost like a leaf, bring it to me, slash it in half while I'm still just maintaining a conversation with Niall. Uh, not Niall, Niall is and uh, Harry. And Harry, Just, yeah. just, it can, can, Thrain, can you quickly roll me 2d20s, Lyra? Can you roll me a d20 and I'll get Ember? Just because if, just to see if they're misses, to see if we need to bother with this stuff. But, um, I was going to oh, say, okay. if she can, Lyra was going to reach, um, down um, the elite's shirt and pull the whistle. I'm assuming it's like oh, running yeah. around her neck. Yeah, yes, perfect. and it is your turn next anyway. As you blow the whistle, you watch as the Gricks immediately freeze and begin moving away from the whistle. Brain, you can still kill one with your <laughs> with attack of opportunity. Uh, it's, it, they're not even like really paying attention to it. I just, as it goes out of my range, I just like- Step on thunk. it. I just like, <laughs> I just get my ax and like thunk it and then keep talking to Niles and Harry. <laughs> Almost like I'm just swatting away a fly. Perfect. Uh, with that, I will take you out of initiative. Uh, as the conversation with us wraps up, I will glance over to where Zerum was. I want to see if he's still there. You I'm going to be studying. I'm going to be studying Harry's head while it's happening and just looking for the looking at the wound. Yeah, Harry's just showing it off. <laughs> I can't believe you. Harry, fucking Harry nuts. looks so bad. <laughs> like my my eyeball shouldn't be drooping out like this, should it? Oh, oh, that Jesus. looks so bad, I'm so Harry. I'm so proud of you. It's, it's yeah. not just that every you know. time, every time Harry moves, you can see this kind of like ghostly after image of of literally his soul not properly attached to him. Oh man, I'm gonna start every time he's moving around. I'm moving around a little bit, like not realizing my my size and strength, and I'm this sort is... of like wisping like with my hand at this soul. Um, just like that... sort of like touching it. Harry, this... Harry's doing the plus. So that happens while you're doing the whole. Uh, Zalem thing that was cool. Oh, Zerum. Zerum, Zerum sorry. Yeah. You're trying to heal Harry, Lyra? That's two hit points back, Harry. So five, five total healing, oh, but you only points. heal you only heal half. So that's two hit points Jeez. back. This is oh, this I... is one of the worst. So necrotic damage, the injuries from necrotic <laughs> damage are pretty bad. Yeah. The, this is the worst injury on the injury table, I think by far. <laughs> I feel almost like two thirds better now. <laughs> I'm not gonna oh. lie. I don't think uh, the old lesser restoration is gonna fix this one, Harry. No, this 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 feels as bad as the time I had brain damage. This feels a lot worse than that, Harry. This is this is this magnitude's feels a lot worse. worse. Actually, in <laughs> hindsight, if it, I've kind of lost my accent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. As uh, as Zeron uses his shadow step to to basically drop down and appear. In front of the uh, in front of the pillar, and begins walking towards you. Watch as he slowly unclips his hand crossbow, holds it out with his hands up, unclips his sword belt, and holds that up as well. And then walks towards you with both weapons held up above his head. Sit down, buddy, pal. Harry um, puts his really disgustingly yeah. chaotic <laughs> body in for a hug. As he as he sees you, he goes. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> Ew. Um, uh, uh, I surrender. I, I, I surrender. I, I will not. Uh, I don't plan on, on fighting anymore. That's my weapons. Well, you know, I would have wanted to do that little one. I point over to the one I decapitated. That's over there. He it's deliberately friend. doesn't look in that direction. Fair. Uh, um, Bart will just casually, as everyone's doing this, um, both seeing it as something that will be useful for a adventuring party of the temper skill but also in case any new messages come in is going to try to round up all of the sending stones from any of the bodies oh, there's yeah. only two um only two. one okay. what you have one and she had the other okay i'll oh, go on cool. well i had thrown one to her so i'll find wherever that one is and oh I'll so she's got them but she got them both yeah that's right you gave the other one back to her so she's I'll, got them both I'll grab, I'll grab both of those from her just 
anticipating that some sort of message is going to come in from someone else while um, everyone else does some stuff. Um, I was, yeah. I was no, just going to say, um, Larry, my sort of, just after sort of trying to have a bit of a look at Harry, is there anything that any of us can physically do about this? Probably going, I don't think so. She's just sort of going to like, hey, hey, Harry, uh, I know you're good at uh, finding stuff on bodies, right? Um, any chance you can have a look over here and um, gesturing to the elite and she's going to try and like help Harry by manipulating the body and oh, like, easy yeah. access to pockets. You, you should also do a dead thing on her as well. I would if I could, uh, but oh. the third level spell slot I was saving has mysteriously gone missing. <laughs> maybe grab that I cast it on first. conjure animals. <laughs> maybe, yeah, maybe, maybe grab that accursed blade of hers. It still stings where she struck me. And obviously where it struck you, Harry. Ooh. Oh, it's, it's all right. It's all right. Uh, it's not all right. I can see your after image. What is that? Um, I don't know. It, it feels like, it, it feels like I'm everywhere and nowhere all at once. Look, uh, uh, Harry, I, I usually am pretty jovial. I'm gonna just tell it like it is. You look worse than some road, some roadkill that I've seen, actually. But I'm still walking. That is uh, a miracle. Better. That is truly a miracle, Harry. I'm, I am glad to have you back. But look at this. Look, 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 what cost? What, it's, is... it's been a day. It's been a day. Uh, look, so... we have we have Harry back. He's safe for the most part. We'll deal with this in time. We have our yes. friend back from... And I look over it. Um, fuck, I always forget his name. What's his name? Zerum. Zerum, because there's like Zaylin and Zerum. I, yeah, they're all awesome. There's a few similar. Zerum. I look over at Zerum and like, well, his kind do not threaten him anymore, and neither do these worm things. So at least we can take that for something. That is true. It didn't go the and way look, that I thought. He was thought. a bit of a badass, to be honest. Everyone was. Good job. That, that Earth Elemental, where did that come from? That was actually, I I remembered that we had it in the bag of holding. I thought I'd give it a go. It was pretty cool, wasn't it? Because the thing is, I don't know if I was around when you got the Earth Element. Uh, it's still up, by the way. It's up for an yeah, hour. Yeah. It, it just looks down at the at the body of Zaylin and turns back towards you in Primordial. She is ended. Yeah, yes, I can see that. Good good work. Uh, you can stand down now. Oh, actually, no, Niall. <laughs> Yeah. Do you yeah. want to just put it on patrol? And do you actually, with your keen eyes, see anything? Um, I'm oh. worried about like similar to the campfire. We made some loud noise. Did you want to do a, just a quick area that's switch? A, that's a good oh, point. Oh, I also, look up at the. Oh. We might want to get a rest. In um, I think your golemate will be a, a good lookout for the. Yeah, maybe oh, we don't rest in the middle of a brick nest. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, yeah, I think yeah. That might be wise. Uh, I, I look up at the at the <laughs> earth elemental and go, maybe just uh, if you could scout ahead uh, while we uh, set up a camp somewhere else. Yeah, well, while we loot the bodies. Maybe just secure the perimeter. No, I don't care about looting. The Securing perimeter. You know what? I'll I roll with this big boy. Eh? This seems pretty fun. I'm I'm not interested in looting bodies. I'm actually going to roll with the Earth Elemental for a bit. Just patrol around. I'll cool. still, but I'll be a bit closer to the party, so I'll do more of an inner sweep near us, so I can still participate in some conversations. And the Earth Elemental could do more of a wider sweep. Yeah, I will. Could you, could you make a perception check while you do that? Perception or investigation, yep. Thrain? Uh, um, I was as he's going away, sort of just asking him if he can chuck her over his shoulder. Cool if you can grab the the elite's body so that Lyra might be able to use ah. it as a upgraded Tim. Can you do it? That's the same thing. <laughs> have, we, have we figured out what's on the body? A Tim that also has like 18 AC. Mm. Mm. <laughs> well, unless unless you guys wanted that kite and armor for yourselves. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Is it the same as the other kite and armor that we've gotten off the drow? This is oh, a full plate armor made of chitin. That's pretty sick. I think we know someone that could possibly need some tea. <laughs> Gee, I wonder who needs the armor. Uh, and the Amber walks forward with his hand up and goes like, I've always wanted this. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> that may make me give up the gloom forged. Yeah, 18 AC sounds much nicer than 14 and being able to talk to dead people. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I guess, Larry, you could take the gloom forged. I was just going to say, what would happen if we put the gloom forged on a zombie? They wouldn't be able to do it. Sorry. Yeah. Well, I'll take the Ember. 
even if none of us watch uh, wear it, we can still just put it on when we need to talk to a body. Like, it takes 10 minutes to chuck it on. Um, okay, well, in that case, um, a thought will come to ask Thrain to grab the body until I look at the armor, realize it's not just, like, lobster stuff <laughs> like that they have from the surface world, yeah. and actually is really nice elven plate, and then I'll just I'll hold my tongue. So it's 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 very carefully cons- uh, constructed chitin armor. It looks like it's made from some sort of insect. Whatever it is, it's massive, and the interlocking plates have been... Uh, painted with this very like dark ash and gray pigment. As you look at the segments, but you get the distinct impression these might have come off a very, very large armor-plated insect that lives in the underdark. Jeez. Something I mean to a, roll a little pull? bit. Yeah, do you want to make me an arcana or a nature check, please? They're both the same, and I'm thinking that this is more some sort of behir like creature. So I'm going to do not because behir is a dragon, but mm. something more magical rather than just of the natural pecking order. So yeah. arcana. Yeah, no, never mind. Five. Five. Um, <laughs> oh, look, maybe, that. maybe, maybe this is Grikai. <laughs> Could be Grikai. Who knows? Yeah. Grik Alpha. Uh, some big <laughs> Grik Alpha. High, it's that, yeah, it's yeah. that Grik that took out two of the summons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you just if you just empty out its guts and then pull it on like a mumu, then it's basically the same thing in terms of armor. Yeah. Now the final thing I uh, that was on Bart's mind, and also to try to complete the prerequisites for Brune Brass Axe um, in the chat, is I do want to call out to um, is it Zer- Zerom. Zerom, yeah. But... Um, but we weren't lying. We do have information to help the Stone Giants. Are they a problem for the Dark Elves at the moment? You watch as he nods slowly. Yes, this and that the is stone, useful information. This, yeah. The stone giants have, have been causing problems for all of the drow houses. We have been shoring up defenses, hunting down uh, new scouting areas to keep an eye on them. They have, they have caused havoc in the Underdark, upended centuries of safe havens for our people. I'll um, just nod slowly. Well, a promise is kept, but as you've probably overheard, we probably want to head somewhere safer for now. And I'll, I'll keep trying to strip the plate mail. But um, what, what, uh, Dungeon Master, what, what's the achievement unlock? Uh, we'll discuss it at your next long rest. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, that's, that, that's, that's mysterious. We will, we will discuss your unlocked achievement at the next long rest, but part of it is uh, what Harry finds on the body of Zerum. Uh, not Zerum, sorry, on the body of the uh, Drow Elite. Harry, would you like to roll me an investigation? You're muted, Dave. Also, Lyra's helping if it I, I think, I think Yeah, I, I think Harry wants to help Lyra. Oh, Harry wants oh, yeah. to help Lyra. Oh, no, no, Lyra's helping Harry. Lyra's helping Harry. Okay. <laughs> Are you sure? Because Harry looks very oh. tired. Oh yeah, you you shot the point of exhaustion. <laughs> exhaustion. This could possibly be the one I'm cleaning the boy. <laughs> wow, you have went through so much. Fuck. It's almost oh, like yeah. being captured by a bunch of drow is really bad, and then being attacked by a said drow is really bad. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I thought Zealand got out. Who would have thought? 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 That's true. Zealand yeah. did get out, and there, trust me, yeah, there, yeah. there will be there will be. Uh, changes and things that you will see as a result of that consequences it's gonna be a payoff to this man i've been thinking yeah i've been thinking about this you know i do you know i do i always i always i always let's find out what the consequence of all payoff is is it gonna be good or bad for us i I do have to say that niles has been thinking this like a whole like a lot of the time he's been like mentally replaying this like did we make the right choice did we make the right choice harry's like salen pushed me into the gut literally it, it could have gone either way in, in Nas. Uh, you like, what, you, what you if... know I love to do callbacks to things that happened like six months prior. <laughs> Wait, hold on a sec. Does, do you actually say that, Harry? Yeah. Wait, so you're saying that the person you were, we were meant to save to help push you so quickly into harm's way to get out of it herself? Wait, what? It's what happened. Look, uh, it, but, but we still got her out, though. Let's I, I, I still play decoy. Let's not worry about it too much. A drowning person always shoves down someone beside them when they're panicking. That's a good point. It's okay. We'll see what she says when we see her next. I'm not it's, happy with this. I do think we should make a move, though. I think I agree with Bart. This is not. Yes. Right no. Nothing. We should not dwell. We should not dwell on it now. Let's let's go. Let's just quickly I... make sure that they don't have anything worth yes. stealing first. 
And yeah. she might also, look at Niles yeah. after glancing across at Harriet how tired he is. It's like, also, oh, yeah. they might not taking, you guys are taking the body with you, remember? Yeah. You can wait until you've had a rest if you want to examine. Harry wants to look. Harry wants to look for his stuff as well. Like, you know how they took his crossbow and, like, oh, all yeah, his stuff? Yeah. Also, um, Owen, yeah, as well, within that one. I'm thinking yep. that talking to Harry and stuff and hearing what he just said, I think it's distracting you. And I don't even, yeah. I don't even do a perception check. Like that's so. If there's anything to perceive, I don't even notice it. Yeah. Oh, wow. Um, okay. Zerom nods. Uh, there are some caverns up the upper section. The Grick do not go there. They know to avoid it. It's the this place we camp out. It's where we had Harry um, before uh, he was ordered down onto the stake. Uh, we can can rest in there if you're looking for a safe place and with your Earth Elemental keeping guard. I. Do not think any would dare approach. Are there any creatures. other shadow blades out and about that we should be aware of? No, uh, no, not not okay. around here, not nearby. Um, I'm gonna wander over to the other assassin that was killed, just see if there is any anything obvious that could be grabbed, and if not, probably mm. just lunk it on my shoulder to sort of strip the armor and grab everything. But like uh, a coin purse or something, just easy like that yeah. that I can pocket it before going through the other stuff later. You're gonna make me a perception or investigation check, please, back. Um, as I'm walking away, I did also want to shout back uh, to everyone. As we're leaving as well, let's not forget that whistle. Um, I think it would be best giving it to Niles, just as he will be able to fly across the battlefield, maybe even using his aerial advantage. I mean, to do some can you guys of... even use the whistle? You have beaks. Oh, true. Fuck. <laughs> you could like put it <laughs> in like <laughs> part. You could put it up part of the nose because you know how beaks have like a little hollow bit for the nose. <laughs> oh, but... that feel... Yeah, that'd be a little hard. Yeah. No way in hell would a fix whistle fit in a narrow bird. <laughs> okay, well, maybe the you're... dog bart. You'll make your cook be comedian in other You're right. I feel like a fool. But Lyra, you're a druid. Animals, sure. Uh... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> except just... I, I don't think... Forget about it. Like, it, it's already, like, over her neck, tucked down the shirt ever since she uh, sounded the whistle Actually, the first time. No, I, I think I know who should get it. I think Ember perhaps should get it. His mastery of creatures is... Oh, is it could be good for Flicker as well. Like, Indeed. I was going to say, she takes it off and hands it over to Ember. Like, just saying, I mean, I think there's, these particular Gricks have been trained... Um, was... to respond to the whistle. It's not probably a universal whistle. No, but, but, like, but he, for us, a it's a thing. signal whistle. Maybe we can use it to signal things if I need to, if someone needs uh, like a, a, a flicker flicker, flicker out of there. No, I can no, no. It's, it's a magical whistle. It controls all Gricks, trust me. And Ember looks at it, goes, okay, and tucks it away. <laughs> uh, I got a, um, a 13 for the investigation, just to look for a a very obvious like coin sack or something as you as you begin padding through the drow's belongings uh once again you find a little coin purse tucked away underneath the upper part of the shrouded tunic uh inside you find those coins very similar to the ones that you'd found on the other drow assassins these kind of unfamiliar uh stamps with elvish uh written around the outside but you find the equivalent of 13 point uh, 13 gold pieces 13 pieces of gold yes. and 31 silver pieces Okay. As I'll well as a small... Sorry? You okay? No, you, you continue. Oh, I was, was going to say, as well as a small up. onyx gemstone. Oh, which... that's actually perfect. I literally was going to ask, um, like, later, maybe next session, if the Elite was wearing any rings, because I needed three gems, and I've already got uh... two. I, I've got the aquarium uh, from the Mykonids, that 500 gold uh, one, the Aquamarine, ritual fragments. Yep. Yep. Um, and then what, what did you say this one was? Onyx. Onyx. So it's Onyx. like a dark black purple kind of color. Okay, dope. I will grab those and then with um, uh, five athletics, I'm happy to do an athletics check, but I'm just going to lunk this one's body as well. So right, we you guys have got the time and your strength is fine. You just pick him up and carry him in. Did, we, did anyone grab the, or look at the mage, grab the mage or go through the mage's body at all? Yeah, no, Ember, so Ember will go. Em Ember oh, will go grab the mage. Oh, like, drag it in. Drag it into the. Drag it into the hollow part. Ember sort of looking around. Yeah. Goes, Climb down the cliff. Back up the cliff. As a, <laughs> as an expert on as an expert on animals, as you put it, Lyra, uh, we don't want to leave bodies out in the open. It will attract attention. If uh, if we're sure. going somewhere, we want to bring them with us. Scavengers will be here soon if we're not careful. Oh, look! This is a little bit of a deception, not a uh, like honest. But, uh, but I, I will, as I'm walking past, holding his ally's body towards to say to Zerum, we're making sure they can get a proper burial and just walk past <laughs> awkwardly. Zerom just nods looking on in 
what almost could be considered a, a look of deep fear mixed with regret <laughs> as he sees you just picking up bodies and making your way to the cave as he looks back and kind of pauses for a second like this decision still weighing heavily on his mind that's not a total lie oh, um, when we can get asleep I'll change my spells to ceremony and I'll do a funeral for him okay. if Lara if she's Sarah like happens to be in the area she sees this expression um, can she just sort of just add in passing it's like Besides, if you didn't join us, we'd probably be lugging your body around too. <laughs> <laughs> he just he just sort of slowly nods and then looks down on the ground where his hand crossbow and sword were chucked. Looks at you and then looks at them again and then slowly makes his way towards his sword. Looks at you, picks it up very slowly and puts it back in the sheath <laughs> and then nods and makes his way up towards the cave. <laughs> I'll just keep it on. He's a friend now. Good luck. He's a friend now. <laughs> yeah. He's a friend now. It's, it's, official, cool. it's official, guys. He's a friend. He will never betray us. There's really? no way. No, no way. With that, as you, you all head up into the, the caverns, you can see that the drow had indeed made a <coughs> small campsite here. Harry, you actually recognize this. This is where you had been unblindfolded for the first time up in the caverns. This, probably what was once a grick hole that has been hollowed out, uh, actually has these sections of stone on what look almost like um uh almost like these these braided ropes but the material is very very tough and fibrous and as you get inside you watch as Zeron pulls a lever and with a grumbling grinding sound part of the ceiling lowers creating this shadowed entryway making it very hard for anyone outside to see into the depths of the cavern as these sections of stone sort of move to partially cover the entrance at the back, you can see there is a very, very small, uh, what almost looks like a small metallic stove, a very, very dull but hot blue flame burning in it to help cook food. Uh, no bright lights, obviously, for the drow. They use this kind of like very intense uh, heated stone. Uh, a few bedrolls, as well as some rucksacks and spare um, weapons and and uh, other sort of like small items that you might take with you traveling, a tinderbox here and there. Um, a few rations and things like that. For the moment, I think what we'll do there is have all of you tuck yourselves in for a long rest, during which you may all level up. The combat combined <sighs> with the achievement is more than enough uh, to be granting you a level up. And on top of that, there are some extra things which have been added onto the uh, onto the Drow Shadowblade Elite, which uh, when you loot her, uh, you will locate. I'm happy to do that next session. Ooh, and then lovely. you can, because uh, there's also something I need to do with Harry as well, when Harry drifts off to sleep that night. Uh, I do I do have some, some, some RP I would like to do on this long rest as well. Yes, well, I'm, I'm happy to do it now really quickly then. Uh, I guess or do you think it's better to give it? Yeah, how, how long do you think it's going to be, Matt? Could it be a pretty big convo? Um, so I'm happy to have depends. it be like at the beginning of the next session, and that's how we open. I, I'm super happy with that. Um, yeah, let's 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 open with it next week. Oh, we can do okay. it now. Let's do it now. Let's I do think it as, as, we're, as, we're, as we're having as we're as we're sort of getting into the downtime, I think um, Nas would probably just go over to to to, to Bart um, and just sort of uh, like see, just go up to him and say. Um, so, so Bart, how how are you feeling about all of that? Did you, the the combat, the fight, the the outcome of all of that, did, wasn't quite what we wanted, was it? What what do you what do you mean? And I'll be sort of tightening the the plate mail. As you do come over, there was something Bart wants to do. So as you do, he's going to quickly reach down and tear like five, sorry, no, six very nicely ripped apart bits of cloth and like dab some blood away from you. Well, I, I it just. Her, that captain's quest for revenge, that that misguided justice that she was seeking out on Zalen, whether or not she was right or not, there was something driving her, something, something deep within her. That that darkness that clouded her judgment. Her, her mind was already made up about things. That 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 vengeance. I, I do not. What do you mean? I just don't want you to lose sight of who you are. I think maybe she had a goal and had been scorned from people messing with her. That is possible. 
That is possible, but I think just keep in mind that all things are in a state of motion, but we must not let go of who we are. There is this place is dark and I can see its influence now. I was so optimistic coming here, but I can see that it is much more perilous than I probably ensured. Uh, but I just want you to know that once we get out of here, once you return to the surface where you rightfully belong, just, I just don't want this place to change you for the worst. Yeah, well, some things have already been too far permanently changed. Just, that is, that is what I feared. Just Look, keep I'm in not, mind. Uh, Niles, I'm not one of your pupils at the training yards, okay? No, I Do you I, know I, what I it's know. like to not be able to take to the winds? We Nearly find every, a way. every day I see you fluttering around, whether it is for mundane tasks or just in your way of life, for combat. For mine, it was how I showed my love. And look, but, but uh, I imagine we're all sitting around. It's, a, it's not a huge cavern, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately. going to quickly pipe in. Hey, what's happened to you sucks, but Niles is not talking to you like one of his students. He's talking to you like a friend, caring for you. Show him some respect. Ask. Yes, I know, but so quickly. I, look, I understand what you're saying, Thrain and Niles, but some hindsight and clarity... Uh, after a combat, post-battle clarity. Um, a brief enlightenment for a couple of seconds is not going to change the years of hardship I've gone through and the now permanent mutilation that I had to suffer. That's true. There's nothing that I can do to change that. If I could, if I could take these wings off my back and give them to you, I would. That is what I would do. It's not the wings that give me power, it's my belief that gives me power. It's my strength within. See you back there with Satine, I would like nothing more. Believe that. I just do not want you to lose yourself, to become something different to what Satine once saw you as. I'll probably just nod and keep doing his armor. If I can interject here just for a quick second, I mean, if it helps at all, Bart, you know that, at the very least, I mean, we were always gonna, you know, go find a powerful healer once we made it back up to the surface to see if we could find someone to fix your winged problem. And Harry, but now. now I'm, yeah, I was gonna say, at the very least, you know we're definitely going there because of Harry, I mean, so... And I'll look at, um, I'm gonna look at you in the eyes as well after um, Lara said that. And look, until then, We'll help you kill the one that did this. We will get you revenge. Until the time you get healed. I and then swear. you go back to being yourself. Lara, does that mean that I should feel more comfort because you have someone closer that's been hurt with Harry? Were you not... Uh, no, is that, but... Is that a compliment or... To... It is a compliment. I mean, when someone's new to a group and you're, you know, you've just met them and even though you've gone through life-changing fights and whatnot with them sometimes in the deepest dark recesses of your mind there's still this little level of doubt that once you you know once we all get back up onto the surface are these new people that you've just met going to ditch your ass which we're not you know it's not in our way nor in the tempest guild way but at the very least that little dark recess of your mind might be comforted by the fact that you know we we're not gonna leave harry like this and we're not gonna leave you like that but you know what I mean? Like... Okay. Okay. Ember's gonna nod at this point and go, we, we've doubled the reasons to see a healer. Right? Exactly! Literally doubled them. I don't want to do any more than that. Doubles more than enough. One was enough. Yeah, that's gonna reason. be really expensive. It sure will we'll, be. We'll, we'll, we've, got, we've got resources, right? Mira said that she had resources the guild we can draw on. We can draw on those. And it's not like we haven't found some good stuff here. And when we kill... What's his face? Obsidian face? Obsidian foot. Um, He'll have stuff, right? His foot's of obsidian. That's got to be worth a bit of money. Sure. As Ember nods. He'll have a healer capable anyway. Look, you were, you were lost before, but now you're one of us, and we'll all look out for each other. 
Okay. I do think that I'm... I don't want to lose myself, and I do... I apologize for the rashness and the tone, Miles. I see where you were coming from. I saw what happened in the Kuatone village, and I don't want to ever go through that again, pushing myself too far. But I am still siding in this conversation with Thrain. I need revenge. And you will get it, little one. If that is what you wish for, then that is what we will do. Perfect. Perfect. And as you all drift off to sleep, Harry, as you are getting ready for rest, feeling probably the worst you've ever felt, that warmth begins to emanate from the heart stone on your hand. And as you look into the light, you hear a voice speak from within. You can say you can respond. Uh, yeah. Uh, 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 it, it, I, it, seem, it seems it does. Perfect. And that is where we're going to end for tonight. <sighs> Whoa, crazy! Thank you so much for joining us, everybody. The only Ooh. thing I need to know before we wrap up is Harry. What level are you taking next? Are you taking a warlock level, or are you taking a rogue level? You know, it's been so long since we leveled up. I've forgotten what my plan was, but I think it's a warlock level. Ooh, Sick. nice. Then we will be opening with the dream that you enjoy as you uh, acquire more warlock power. <laughs> we shall open with that <laughs> next session. Yeah. Um, one quick question, though. Yeah. Um, your the severed soul says you gain half the hit points from healing magic, rolling hit dice during a short or when taking a long rest. So normally you'd Does fully heal on a long rest. You get half yeah. your hit points back. Half my yeah. hit points, not half the gap, but half the hit points. So yeah. I was on more HP. Oh yeah, yeah that's fine. Yep. Cool. Okay. Also, awesome. up or rounded down. Rough. Rounded down. Rounded down in D and D. Always rounded down, unfortunately. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, everybody. I hope you have enjoyed tonight's session. We will be back next week with more Return of the Giants. Until then, stay safe, stay well, and we will see you all again very, very soon. Lovely Twitch people, take ourselves not away from thy screen, for we shall take ourselves across to raid another lovely channel. It looks like Corsair's Cove are playing some D&D. There is no one finer that we can raid tonight. So we shall head across to Josh the Pirate and play some, uh, join them for some courses, join them for courses, Co's D&D. Until then, everybody, stay safe, stay well. We will see you all again next time. Goodbye, everybody. Bye.